only reason um, I thought of tonight is because I want to talk about time travel, right? And I'm thinking like, well, what's specifically about time travel that I want to talk to you about? Then I thought about all these movies that time travel, but I don't want to get into that right now. I want to get into one of the most, you know, famous and well-known movies from all around the world, right? Not just U.S. because, you know, I came to the States in 1989, but I always seen Back to the Future yeah. 1 in Hong Kong, you know, where I'm from. And I remember... Yeah. Thing, I see, what, so what we're going to talk about to? what? Star Trek 4? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I have not watched... <laughs> besides the new releases, I have not watched any of the uh, uh, um, old Star Trek at all. At all by, oh, what I mean, like, I guess they were making in the 80s, right? What yes. Saw, yeah, making in the 80s. Yeah, so I never yes, watched so. any of the Star Trek until... Um, yeah, all the, the movies are... Stuff. Well... 79 for the first one. Oh, oh yeah. See, I, I have not watched any. But I'm pretty sure I would get into it, though, because it sounds like even watching the new generation movie is something I'm interested in. But no, I think the first time I thought heard about time travel was... um. Well, hey, uh, before you watch the next generation movies, please watch the originals, because you might give up. <laughs> what do you mean? Give up on which side? Give up on a new one or the old one? Well, the, new gener- the next generation movies... Well, two of them aren't that great. Okay, so are you t- by next generation, you're talking about the one with Chris Pine, right? No, I'm talking about Picard. Oh, Picard. Oh, okay, okay. I've, I've not seen that. Okay. There's a lot of catch-ups to do. You know? The There's TV show's time. good, though. <laughs> well. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's get you back to the future. I noticed that you were just watching. Right. It's probably to refresh your mind. So I think the first time, well, for me especially, or... <coughs> People from the 80s. I don't know if this is the first time anybody watched time travel movies. There was there any time travel movies prior to Back to the Future? Yeah, the, uh, there was Time... I think Time Bandits was before Back to the Future. Was it a TV show? You know what is Time Bandits? I can't... I don't remember what Time Bandits It was a movie. Are. It was a movie. There was a TV show called Time Tunnel. I don't think I know that one. Time There's Tunnel. the Time Machine. Oh. The Time Machine. The time machine. Oh, the time machine. Yeah, I know that one, but not the uh, uh, okay, guy Pierce one. There's though. a lot of time. There's a lot of time travel for yeah. Back to the Future. Almost most of the episodes of the original Star Trek had time. Time. Oh yeah, that's before. Well, you know what? For me, it was. I guess a foreigner, like you no, know, not into, not not in the U.S. before then. Okay, I think Lost in Space had a time travel episode. Oh, from the '60s. Right? That's a TV show. Yeah. But you know what? Those are all me, '60s. For me, time. Oh, for you. Like well, hey, time, hey, I don't I know, know what you're doing. Hey, yep. I didn't follow you from when you came over here. Okay. Yeah, see, like, that wasn't Twitter, Ben. I know. So, but I'm telling you that, like, the first time I heard about, you no, know, know about. I'm sorry travel. that y'all don't believe in time travel in Hong Kong, but which is weird because don't you have buildings with holes in it so dragons can go through it? Oh, uh, we might, but that's a China thing, you know. Yes, you do. You since, do. Well, you I'm going to tell you, you this a, right now. You got buildings I, in Hong I, Kong. No, you have buildings in Hong Kong with a hole in it so dragons can go through it. Oh, I, okay. I'm not familiar with that actually. I, yeah, actually, I have no idea. Okay, what you're well, you do. I have to show you. The, I have to show you the clip one day. Okay, good, good, good. So, um, I guess when I was watching it, you know, I never when since I was a kid, I never thought about the logic and how much it would or would not make sense about time travel. I guess in a way, Back to the Future did it simply for you know for easier for audience to understand, but not for the well scientific mind. Would you agree? Maybe. I, I don't think anybody really cared back then. No, right? You know? like, the logic didn't care back it was, then. It right? mainly was it was a really fun movie to watch. It was and very so, entertaining. I mean, and a lot of people probably even knew the logic, but who cares about the logic? You know? Yeah, it just, it just they, they, they did it well. Because you know, I think were, the thing that stood out the most was the photograph where everybody disappears. Yes. And, you no, know? It doesn't it, make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Any... But, no, you're right, because everybody believed that one line timeline. Right? Yeah, the, but it is it is part it is part of the plot, you know. It helped yep. move the story along because yes. it gave him a reason. Okay, this is it's like a measuring device to know if he completed his mission or right. not. Yes, yeah, see, yeah, exactly. It's it's like a video game, right? Hey, these are the bad things yeah. that happen. You well, gotta yeah, go and I fix would it. I would say I would say that the uh, the picture was like an hourglass. Oh, okay. In a yes. way, you know. Oh, that's a really good uh, took, way to put it. Yeah, it's like a meter. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a really good way to put it. You know what? Let, let's we can go all over the place because we just talking about Back to the Future, and like like you said, well, yeah, everything here, here's stands the neat... out on the picture. No, go ahead. Uh, before we go back to the picture, yeah, to... yeah. I mean, most uh, everything in the story was a plot event. I mean, because like at the end, if if you're the really tell them by let's say by what we've seen or we know about time travel, Doc Brown, you know, he puts a bulletproof vest on at the end of the movie and he's alive. Yeah. But the problem is. That's an alternate reality. In the real reality, yeah, see, Doc Brown is dead. See, no, so that's and Marty McFly up. is is missing, and nobody knew what happened to Marty McFly. Right. So, so they show the, the Dolores missing, point. some Petonio's missing. Yeah, see, the dog well, starved. Back to the problem. future never touch on um, alternate reality, right? Because we go back to that picture thing you were talking about. You know, the cool thing was about the picture they were disappearing. So well, it does back actually. To the, oh, so in the Back to the Future too. Yeah. They threw that logic out the window, right? As soon as as Biff pick up that um sports almanac, Marty should have disappeared, like as if he never existed. But then you know that could, if that happened, then that win that he would have never gotten his hands on the sports almanac in the first place. You know what I mean? It's so confusing. Yeah, exactly. Time travel. Exactly. It's just that. Yeah, alternate realities come into play in yeah. in the second movie. Yeah, but not the first one. Yeah, not the first one. Yeah, not the first one. You know, they just... didn't know there was gonna be a second one. I don't think. Oh, really? You know what? They they did shoot second and third one back to back. I don't think they did, because it seemed like. Because then, yeah, then they add the in the parts that they're gonna make us the rest of it later. Oh, I don't know because. Or like, was it how... always planned? Well, how the first one ended, I don't know how the first one ended. It open ended for a sequel, right? When he's like, "Hey, Marty, you gotta come back to me uh, with me, because this time it's about your kids," and that's how it ended. Didn't it say to be continued from the first one? Yeah, but I, yeah, it did say it did say to be continued. Did and how long did it take? Because I remember I was waiting for a long time, man. I was like, you know I need a time machine so I can go to the future just to see this. You know what? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, but remember, it's like we waited forever. <laughs> See, back to and the then we got two. two. Then we almost got two okay. movies at the same time. Yeah, we did. So what happens is 1985 was the first one. Okay. Yeah, the second one didn't come out until 1989, and by that time I was only in the U.S. because I saw that in the theaters. Yeah. The third Look one. Look how I saw long it too. was. Well, maybe they, they were waiting for technology to be better because you know they were they fi- they finally showing flying cars, right? Finally, you know they can't do that back in 19. You know, let's just say sequels takes two years. How long did sequels come up back then? It, it's probably not like. You know, back in the 80s, sequels didn't come up that fast. They come out fast enough, because everything still had a sequel. What, like Police Academy? <laughs> yes. Every year. Was it every year Once for Police Academy? I can't existed. remember. There's no, like I'm joking. I don't know that it was. I don't know. Some of the, I guess maybe it was a long time, because how long was it between the Ghostbuster movies? Let's look that up, too. I guess they didn't really like money that much back in the 80s. Even though I thought 80s was all about money. <laughs> Ghostbusters. It was five years. 1984 and 1989. So it was, it was a while. Oh. No. No, we're going to Okay, back to the future. Back to the future. What was your, what was your favorite part in the first one? I don't know. I don't know that I had a favorite part. Well, um... Well, I don't know about favorite part. I know my favorite line from the first one is um, when Biff Light just say like, "Hey, why don't you make like a treat and get out of here?" <laughs> and get out of here. <laughs> but they didn't say, you know, they only says it once. They didn't he didn't say it once or twice. He said it. I think yeah. he said it twice because the second time when he said it, yeah, he said he said him. twice because yeah. yeah, well, no, cause nobody corrected him. No, no, no. I like, watch it. Just now I watch it. Nobody street. corrected it's, him. It's uh, no, so. Who said that? Like, it's make like a tree and leave. Oh, not, it's not the first one. It's the second one. Hey, they don't correct it until the second movie. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly. Like, like a tree he only says leave. it twice in the first movie and yeah. no one ever corrects yeah, right. him. No, because he's the bully, right? Like, who would you, yeah. who, why would he correct, be corrected? I don't want to get my ass yeah. kicked. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a lot of things, I mean, a lot of things we think we remember happened in the second and third movies. Really? I kind of remember, Yeah, like you know, all the, Oh, you know what? Yeah, a lot. Of the second movie when 
when there was two dark browns, one one in the current time of 1955, and one them for the future of 1985, 89, 85, yeah. A lot of Evil yeah, Fox the in the second part. one. No, a lot of the first one has a good thing, right? Let's see, he was going up to late to school, the plutonium thing. You know, what is what is Back to the Future rated? Uh, PG. Is it PG or PG-13? Does it tell it's me? It's PG. It's gonna be PG. I'm pretty sure it's PG. I just saw it a few minutes ago. I mean, there wasn't any language really in it. No, it's violence. Really, really... Like, when he was shot violence. by Paris, right? When oh Doc yeah, Brown I guess shot, shot by, by Paris. Paris. That was pretty crazy. I don't know if. Oh, could, uh... that wasn't. It wasn't that realistic. I mean, come on. We watch cartoons where people get their heads cut off nowadays. Oh, that's just because it's cartoon, you know. Come Human on, Valley. when we were kids, hey. Remember G.I. Joe? They couldn't even shoot real bullets because it was too violent. <laughs> oh, you know what? I know, you know, that's some uh, memorable parts. Like, um, when he watched, um, when he was back in the 1955 and he mif- meets that family, for, oh, no, but his mom? When he talked yeah, his to mom's that, family, his grandparents. That'd yeah, his, be his grandparents, grandparents, right? So that part where he's like, oh, i seen this one. It's a rerun. It's like, what is a rerun? Yeah. <laughs> he's looking at that kid. He goes, yeah, I remember I saw this. And he's like, how could you? It's brand new. You know what? Yeah, I know. Right? That kid, I remember him from the Wonder Years, right? Didn't he play the older brother to Kevin? Yeah. He yeah, was the yeah, older see? brother in the Wonder Years. He's the older brother. Yeah. It doesn't look like a big cast. Like, yeah, that's like, pretty funny. Well, I mean, like, Question the granddad. Like, or... Yes, the granddad. Yeah, remember, he tells his mom, he goes, hey, that kid's weird. If you ever, mar- if you ever have a kid like him, I'm going to disown you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, his grandfather. And also, like, uh, I like they hint a little bit about the joke, like, um, in the beginning of Back to the Future, they talk about his uncle, they made a kick for him, but he didn't get released because he's in prison. And yeah, then when he went jail, back in 55... Jail bear Joey. Yeah. And when he went back to 55, because uh, his brother, uh, well, his uncle was a baby, and he's like, well, better get used to these balls. I'm like, I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a well, big you know, thing. Well, the kid's mom, remember, she goes... Every time we take him out of there, he cries. Yeah, so he just cries. Leave him yes, that's all right. Time. Yes, see? <laughs> or, you know, he's wearing that vest. Remember, he's wearing that puffy vest? Yeah, yeah, the life jacket. Which is kind of weird now because nobody wears a vest like that nowadays. But, well, who was yeah, back in 19... Was it back in 1985 people wear life vests or something? No, it wasn't a life vest. It was just what a regular that? vest. It was just a regular vest, just right? A vest. Oh, people yeah, make fun of him. They thought it was a life vest. Yeah, that was a style. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a joke. It's kind of lost in time now. Yeah. In a way. Because yep. it's, not, it's not a style that you see. I yeah. Mean, you have to go to the thrift store to go get a vest like that. I mean, and you know what's really be funny? A, like, no, a, yeah. What, a hipster or something to wear a vest <laughs> like that? <laughs> My dad wears a vest like that because he, he doesn't wear a jacket. Like, he doesn't wear a coat with sleeve. He wears to wear the vest. Yeah. No, so but your dad uh, wears a life preserver. Yeah, he wears a life preserver. That's right, exactly. I don't know why. Uh, damn, I forgot what's the other thing I was going to bring up. A oh, crap. Pepsi. He keeps drinking oh, you know Pepsi, Pepsi free. Pepsi, I'll take Pepsi a Pepsi free. Hey, you want a Pepsi, Pepsi you free. Want to, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, you know what the sad thing is? I don't even remember a Pepsi free. I don't remember that. Who'd want a non caffeine Pepsi? Is it Pepsi free, non caffeine, or non sugar? It says non-caffeine. It's probably both. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's non-sugar. Because remember, he tells that guy, he goes, "I want something without sugar in it." <laughs> sugar, just water. Yeah. <laughs> because remember, he oh. tried to order a tab. Yeah. You know, I don't he remember. He tried to Pepsi order a tab, free. which nobody's gonna get in the future. I remember. Because you know, they quit making tab this year. Oh, they did. I remember Pepsi, that's, Crystal Pepsi. That's later Pepsi on. Free. I don't know if that's something they have. Yeah, in Crystal the U- Pepsi's uh, later on, man. Come yeah. on, you're, you're, you're in the nineties. We haven't gone. We haven't gone in the future yet. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're still in the eighties, man. Not ain't no Crystal Pepsi yet. Are you sure there's no Pepsi free back in the eighties? Because I wasn't in the U.S. yet, so I don't know. There was a Pepsi free because I mean he's drinking it. Ah. Yeah, man, it shows it. The can's always laying around in his room and stuff. Oh yeah, when he's sleeping. Pepsi kind free. Of it's just I don't remember. I don't remember the Pepsi, but yeah. I was really young when. Yeah. I was really young when that when that came out, but I remember when Back to the Future came out. My parents had it on VHS. <laughs> VHS, you know, I forgot. I was going to ask you, did yeah. VHS take a long time? To yeah, well, here's out? what's. I don't remember. I know it came out on HBO. I don't think it came out because I'm sure I watched it around '85. You know, like okay, so okay, I watched it on right? HBO. Okay, so 
I know back then it takes a long time for VHS to come out because like not after the movie's out, right? You gotta wait a while. They they gotta oh. do the stupid reformatting so that way it fits your four three TV screen. That takes time to yeah, do. Yeah, well, my parents, my parents just taped it off HBO into a VHS. Oh, tape. that must be it. Yeah. <laughs> And you know the sad thing is I watched it so much it erased the tape. <laughs> oh, it's the, yeah, it, it just it, that's bad for the tape. Yeah, VHS. Hey, you know I you know I never looked this up. Is Johnny B. Good a real song or is that something they made up for the movie? No, it's a real song. Oh, it's a real song. Okay, yeah, I'm not. No, yeah, it's a real song. I didn't know anything about pop culture back then. So was that was that band or one that actually played it and never put that connection together? No, you know, I don't think that band was the real who played it, but but you got to remember, uh, the band calls his cousin Chuck yes, Berry. Yes, that's right. Chuck Berry's the guy that sang that song. Oh, you know who Chuck okay. Berry is, right? Yeah, I do. Yes, that's why I Come forgot on. that song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Chuck Berry's real. Yes. Oh, I, I put that connection. <laughs> so I don't now. know. I don't know about the. I don't. I doubt that band was real. No, yeah, those no, guys yeah. are real, but, but Chuck but Berry's real. But it's a good real. joke, though. Yeah, I see why. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good joke. joke. He's like, hey, man. This is the sound you're listening, you're looking for. You know what? They didn't they use some kind of racial slur when they locked Marty in the trunk? Yes, and, they did. And those dudes were smoking reefer, but they never said it, right? They, yeah. they were in the car smoking reefer. Well, he's they call him a they call those kids call them reefers. Oh, that's well, right. that's not that's the they, racial slur. That no, that's they not use. racial slur. That's yeah. not the racial slur they use. Yeah, no. But yeah, oh, yeah. They, yeah. They, they don't get them mixed up with some guys reefer smokers or something like that. <laughs> Which I mean, come on, that's the times, I guess, if you're gonna play to the times. Right. Well, what do you think about the uh, the end? Well, I wouldn't say the ending changed. Like when he changed, where he made Biff, I I don't think they ever talk about. Oh no, they did talk about. They talk about how George McFly got in her room in the first place because Marty pushed him. Otherwise, he would have taken her to the dance and they just had the first kiss, right? I like it was because when George punched Biff and then that changed for themselves in the future because he stood up to the bully. Yeah, he changed Yeah, he changed it because if he would have just did it, I mean, it made it made George realize he needs to stand up for himself. Yep. And, then, and he yeah. did from then on because you remember... He also he gets tested by the other kid because remember he's at the dance. Yeah. And that other guy comes and grabs yeah, the rain away from yeah. him, and he just kind of stands there. And he's standing I was like, there. Come on, dude, just go punch that guy. <laughs> and then he and then he put his shoved him right there. He was a badass. Oh, you know what's really awesome though is remember when he when he tells a tells him you need to ask, ask Lorraine to the dance, and he, George is like, "Well, my favorite show comes on. I don't <laughs> miss it." He's like, "What? What? Well, yeah, science." Science, uh, science theater. theater. What is it? Science, science fiction theater. Science fiction theater. So he goes in his room and he plays a tape cassette. And the ca- tape cassette. What does it say? Well, it actually it says Halen? Edwin. I think it says Edward or something. Oh, Van okay. Halen. Yeah. It should have been Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen. Yes. <laughs> then he tells him, tells him, hey, I'm Darth Vader from, from Planet uh, Vulcan. Vulcan. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what? He's gonna what? Melt my brain. Star Wars with Star Trek. Because <laughs> it was like, I'm just gonna mix these together. Because you know, at his time, it wasn't invented yet. <laughs> <From Yeah. Planet laughs> He's gonna melt my brains <laughs> if I don't ask Lorraine to the dance. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna melt my, gonna melt my was, brain. I thought it was really great how they combined that. He was wearing the radioactive suit, <laughs> so he looks like a from outer space. And I like it when they first saw. Uh, Crashed into like it was it that Hill Valley guys like who owned the um the, all, all the land yeah and, it was uh, uh what was it Twin Pines yeah Twin, Twin Pines, Pines yeah. right and uh the boy, and then at the end of the movie it's one what's it yeah, what was it called pine. Single Pine yeah Single Lone Pine, pine. Oh, for your Lone Pine because like, he ran that tree down when he got the DeLorean yeah. and then the kid had a comic book right but the spaceship looks like the DeLorean <laughs> like what yeah. are the odds of that and happening, it shows up you know? that rape. It's like, shoot him, Dad. Shoot him, Dad. He's turned to human form. Hey, and I, I don't know if you know this because I don't know the answer. This wasn't based on a book, right? It was actually based on, it's probably Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg's idea. I think it was just based on their idea. I think, like, uh, I think how the idea was like, I don't hey, think what, it was based on a book. What would it look like if, um, if you went back in time to meet your parents? I think that's how they came up with the story. Maybe. Because if you think about it, it's kind of like a romantic comedy in a way, right? I know it's science fiction genre, but they have romance between Yeah, I, I can't see it as a romantic comedy. 
Because, I mean, he was pushing his mama off of him, man. <laughs> <laughs> no romantic comment. Not the, the romantics not between Marty and his mom is more like George. Like, oh, you know, no, there was Marty more going was on. Him. There was more going on there than with his dad. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, huh? Kevin Klein. <laughs> I know Kevin Klein. Like, you know, with Pepsi and Kevin Klein, I feel like, um, what is it? What's also it's such JBC? a big advertisement. Remember? Yeah, JBC. JBC? Yeah. Yep. Is JBC even around anymore? You know what? They're probably known as another company, though. You know, there's so many and then, companies. And also, you had the Sony Walkman. Remember the Sony Walkman? Oh, yeah, definitely. Cause you know, the what... funny thing is, here's, here's what I thought was funny. You know, he jumps in the DeLorean, and he throws that Sony Walkman yeah, and the, the JVC camera. In the, he throws it in the seat right next to each other. I was thinking, huh, now we have a camera that can do what both of those do. Oh, I know. Just the, the phone, phone, right? You mean the phone, yeah. Hey, you know what's, you know, yeah. when you Front of the uh, video camera, I was always interested in how he made that camcorder work with the 1955 television. They never, they just like, oh, hey, I just got it working, hey, and then that's hey. it. He was at Doc Brown's house. Doc Brown probably made some, so it work. Make something work right with the video signal. I thought that like they didn't even touch yeah. on that, but I was like, how the hell did they make that work so fast? It was Doc Brown. It was Doc Brown. It's just that's it. I huh? mean, if you can make a helmet that can read somebody's mind, I'm sure you can make a U. U what's a UHF connector for the camera? A flux capacitor. And I also like um. They just made it. It made up a term for how much power they need. One point two, uh, gigawatts. Yeah. Now everybody uses giga. Yeah, just giga. Giga's a, is a real word now. It's a word now. A giga is not. Yeah, it's a real word. It's just from back to yeah. the future. I mean, eventually we'll get Giga. Giga. Gosh. Well, we could, uh, let's see. What else is, well, you know, it's a Back to the Future 2. It's also it's Back through. to the Future 2. You know, it's really cool. Um, I thought they used the same scenes from the first movie, but they, they like, they literally, we shot everything. Yeah, they had, to, I mean, they would have had to. You think so? I they mean, can just kick touch from the first one and then just move on to the second? I don't think so. Because, well, I didn't watch the second one, but you know, the film quality doesn't still. I mean, I would have thought they would have uh, up, upgraded the film quality on the first one, you know? How they but clean they, everything up now for Blu ray. The yeah. quality still look kind of old. Oh, yeah, because they shot it on film. You know, film is not a 4K, it's like 2. It's almost like 2K quality. But you know what? I think it's because the actors are also I don't at know. least five years older, so they, when we shoot, right, they want to make sure that it kind of looked like. The first movie that was done like more four or five years ago. Yeah, but I don't remember. I don't remember the second one. They could have used. They could have used some of the old footage, I guess. <laughs> well, they, they would have been careful. Yeah, they would have been careful because you know they to- they had to rebuild all, all the sets. Yeah, they had to rebuild. I know that's the thing about Back to the Future was everything was shot on the set. I love that. Yeah. And you know what else? Yeah, Actually, so... besides, we forgot to talk about the actor because you know the first one was shot like I think. Probably ninety percent of the Back to the Future was shot with Eric Stoltz. Is that how you say his name? Yeah, Eric they Stoltz, almost right? fin- yeah they almost finished the movie. Yeah, they pretty much finished. They finished the movie. Let's just say they, no, they finished shot the all movie the scenes with Eric Stoltz, with Eric Stoltz to uh, replace him with I uh, almost said Marty McFly, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, Michael J. Fox. You know, if so they you watch like, they're YouTube, like, hey, right? They point out all the scenes that was Eric Stoltz instead of Michael J. Fox because, like, on some of the scenes when you look at Fifth, right? Since, you know, they don't want to pay the actor twice, like, like, Michael J. Fox doesn't have to be the stand-in. Eric Stokes is already there. And they could tell from, like, yeah. Biff's face, like, some of the shots where, like, he looks more well-rested. And then when they shoot it with uh, Michael J. Fox, right, because Michael J. Fox has to shoot at night, you know, from his uh, family ties. Yeah. They, uh, he, the guy who plays Biff, the actor who plays him, he's, uh, he's much more tired. Now they pointed that out, right? Every time I watch that movie, I'm like, oh, that's the cut. This is Eric Stokes and not Michael J. Fox, because it's their the hair and the head is a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's thought, like crazy. I mean, like nowadays, I don't even I mean, know if they're willing to do that now. Let's just say they have. No, they've movies. done. They no, they've done that on. They've done that on some movies. Like what was uh, it? They did it on a movie with the. Uh, I can't remember who the actor was. Well, what movie is it? They got they got rid of an actor. Yeah, an actor got fired, and they almost had the movie done. And they had really? to go back and reshoot it. Huh. Yeah, it was a. I can't remember the actor now. Oh, you know what? I'm a, I know Shrek. 
Strength like Chris Foley died in the middle of production, and then we no did not replace. Oh, but did like, they? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Chris Foley was supposed uh, was he did a lot of lines for Shrek, and then they uh, oh. and, you know, he, he died from OD. You know, I think it's cocaine or I can't remember what you know what kind of drug he did. <laughs> and then Mike Myers yeah. took over for Shrek. And the other movie is um Heath Ledger. Oh, I can't remember what the Heath Ledger movie was, but it was starting uh Johnny Depp, uh Colin Farrell. And somebody else. Oh. Yeah, Johnny no, Depp found these. somebody else. It's like I can't, I can't remember the director. I think it's the same director who did um, Twelve Monkeys. Okay. But uh, like, yeah, you know, I don't know a lot of movies. But Back to the Future, if people love pointing out that Eric Stone or they replace Eric Stone, but then if you think about it, he should be fine because he still got paid. It's not like they took his money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, he was okay. I'm sure though, he's like, man. This movie's huge, and I'm not in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You know said their the That's sucks. the back of my head. That sucks, you know? I guess they, because they like the way the mannerism that Michael J. Fox have over Eric Stokes. The comedy is a lot better. Have you seen some of the scenes? No, People I have haven't on watched YouTube. Scene. Oh, dude. But I, do, I just, the funny thing is, I'm thinking is, if you're directing this movie, right? Mm-hmm. You, and you have this actor, and you're watching this, the scenes every day. Why didn't you decide early in the movie this guy's not working until the end of the movie? Go, hey, you know what? We're finished this movie. The guy's not that deep. I don't really like this guy. Oh, I think it's because that was the uh, the best second choice. He's the next one up from Michael J. Fox, and they can't push production. But then they did it anyway. They had to reshoot yeah. all of it. I'm like, you're right. It's a waste of money. But you oh, know yeah, what? It's kind That's of waste why of they money. keep I mean, releasing the Back to the Future just to make that on the H25 edition, 30 years edition. You know, in we say it's like a forty years edition, right? Like, yeah. Do, or you uh, say it's a waste of money. I guess they don't really see it as a waste of money now because they're like, no. <laughs> look how big a hit that was. Yeah, I mean, they're still making money, right? They have video games. Yeah, they're still like those making Telltale money. Games, yeah. Like, did they yeah. release a thirty-five year? Yeah, I mean, year? come on. What can I say? I played the Telltale game. <laughs> oh, you played the Telltale game? I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. Are they related to the story, or do you get your pick? I never played the Telltale games. The Telltale game is kind of, well, it depends. This one's kind of related to the back future. This time you travel, I don't know, I kind of, it's kind of goofy, but I forgot. I travel back to the 1920s or 30s. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So it's like the, the you gotta fix storyline. You got to fix things. It's almost like, it's almost like the, let's like the back to the future story. You know how he travels in the 1800s, he travels yeah. in 1955. And this one you travel like 1920s or 30s, and you try to fix the same thing again. Oh really? Huh. Well, um, yeah. I mean, well, it's just a, it's just a game. It's just something to do. Okay. So, well, since I was talking about the uh, replacement of one actor, and I think in the second one, they didn't have um, who's that guy who played George Butfly? What's the actor's name? Chris. Oh, oh Chris Blink Glover. Chris yeah. Blink Glover was not in the second one. No, because no, they, they had problems with the guy. They had problems with it. Like I don't think he liked that happy ending at the end of the first one. How they changed it. Oh really? He he liked he liked I guess he didn't like the happy ending where like you know everything worked out great for uh, Marty at the end. You know because he went. Why uh, wouldn't you like it? No, I know I, I know right. Like he's just an actor. I know, at that time, I don't know how big of a resume he had that um back in the eighties. Yeah, you know, I don't know how well. Yeah, I don't know. Was. I mean, like the only movie I know you. him was in this one and the first Charlie's Angels. Oh he really? A, yeah, he played the. Uh, he was supposed to be in a movie with a bunch of rats. It was called Wilbur. Oh, he was in the Wilbur. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That was a long time ago, too. You know, that I'm was a long time his, ago. I'm going to look up his that resume. Was a, that, was, that was before everybody knew he was, he was too hard to get along with. He must have Let's see. Hold on. He's always, I'm looking at... Uh, since Back to the Future, he did a movie called At Close Range with his Edge. Oh, he was in Twister. Where the heart is... He was in Red Hardest? Oh, that's a different He's movie. A... I don't. I thought it was a Natalie Portman movie. Where the heart is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was in that. No, in he's, not, he's not in a Natalie Portman. It's one with Uma Thurman. It's a different Where the Heart is. Wow, at Heart, The Doors. You know what? A lot of these. Oh, he was in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I didn't see that. Oh, he was in uh, The People vs. Larry Flint. He was in Charlie's Angels. It. Didn't see any of those. I don't even like Charlie's Angels. Oh, Wilbur. That's the mouse movie. Yeah, Wilbur. Yeah. 
He was in Beowulf. Oh, but it's a motion capture movie, so you met at the Donner Party. He was in Nine. Huh. Really? I've never seen Nine, though. I still haven't seen Nine. You haven't seen Nine? Yeah, I know. You didn't see Nine. <laughs> isn't it by Is it by Tim Burton? Nine? Oh, what are we talking about? We're not talking about... Oh, we're not talking about the same movie, then. No, I don't think Nine's a Tim Burton movie. Oh, but now I know what we're talking about. No, my, we're talking about... Elijah, well, yeah. We're talking about two different movies. Yeah. Okay. So, Christopher Lover. You know what? I, I, he might be. You know, he might have a cult following, but I, I, I don't follow him. I don't know him at all. I just know him from Back to the Future, and that's it. And then I believe in the second movie. I don't think they use either his knightliness or something. So he's trying to sue them for something. Who is? Yeah, I think they're trying to use because you know in the second one he comes down up, hanging upside down, right? Like uh, for dinner night, that was the same time where. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he, he threw in. his well, he threw his back out. Yeah, and then the head was uh, flying it upside down. You know what? I really like how they envision the future. We're not going to talk about flying cars because we already have that now, and I like everything. The house, like you know, every what? What are you laughing about? The flying car thing. <laughs> well, yeah, what flying cars? What are you talking about? Yeah, oh. those shoes that lace up by themselves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where's the hoverboard at? I mean, come on. The pizza that just shows up in the little machine. Oh, I like that. Like, ju- that like, little thing. And then like, they put it in the machine and they just make that. I love how they envision the future of that, okay? I love that the kitchen where the thing comes down, he asks for grapes. And I guess, well, we have VR now. Like, he was playing some kind of VR headset, right? My, Marty by Fly Jr. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I yeah. guess it's clothing. Like, I really like, like, they sell the jacket, but it's not, like, self-fitting. It doesn't auto-dry. The self-lacing Nikes. I, I think Nikes made it five years ago. They have the they have the same Nike, but I don't think it's self laces It's just the look. But um, the flying cars. No, uh, yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about flying cars. We already have them. It's just you're describing a helicopter. That's it. Everything you describe the flying. Well, we had car helicopters. Is a hel- Yeah, exactly. We had, no, so we have a flying no, car. No, see, look, you want a car, right? But everything you describe, it could go, it could go up, it could go down, it could go forward, it could go backwards, right? You're describing a helicopter. Yeah. No, I'm not describing a helicopter. No, because you want a helicopter has big old blades on the top of it. Yeah, but if you're just describing, right? we're just calling it. We're just calling it a, a car. helicopter. If you, you can't call a, a flying a, car, you, you can't call a, you cannot call a helicopter a flying car. A helicopter is not By a definition, car. I can. I love this argument. I believe that a flying car is a helicopter. It just wanted to look like a car. You like can't drive a helicopter down the street. You, or you don't have to drive a flying car down the street. What's the point of driving a flying you don't have car to, if but you're you, not flying? You don't have to, but you can. You know what? I'd, I'd, like, think... to see you, I'd like to see you drive a helicopter through the McDonald's drive through window. Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't even have to do McDonald's. You can do Waterburger or something if you want to. But... but you know what? I don't know. One day, like the flying car, I, I just like even though we don't have it, right? I just love how they envision. Well, like, a while ago, you just said you know? we had flying cars. No, but then you you refuse to accept that. So I okay, accept. I still do. Yeah, yeah. See, so let's just say I, no, that doesn't matter, right? I still love how they envision the future. You know how they did well, it I... in that movie because no one ever know how far technology will advance, right? They did. No, it wasn't in this movie they have um the self-driving cars, right? It was Total Recall, yeah. And, uh, time yeah, there was no movie. self-driving cars. Yeah, they didn't talk about self-driving future. cars, but then we we go to flying cars from, you know, they didn't even touch about that. And what else did they have? Oh, the self-serving, um, the when he was in the restaurant, the Cafe 80s. Yeah, Cafe 80s. <laughs> the big old tube TV still come down and like, no one talks shit about this, but they talk about flying cars, like, hey. Back to the Future have the, uh, you know, the, the drink came out from the middle of the table when he asked for a Pepsi and he just like, that guy, yeah. the, the guy but with the But you gotta also pumps. remember all the TVs had the, what, the Max Headroom style stuff? The what? Max Max Headroom. Oh, yes. Remember? Which nobody yes. seems, other than us, nobody remembers, unless you're from that time period. It's and, like, what? Max And what else did they do in a cafe? He met, he meets Elijah Wood playing Wild Gunman, the arcade game. Yeah, that was Elijah Wood. Yeah, to use your yeah. hands. <laughs> yeah, but hey, we still use our hands today. I know, right? Like every controller. And that's we have why we got COVID. <laughs> are, are you sharing your controllers? <laughs> <laughs> 
supposed to clean your controllers before you should handle them next play. Oh. And make sure you uh, play your game six foot away. You know, they, they didn't touch Which, you should play it at your own house, though. Oh, you know what? Didn't he use some kind of... There's a really big TV when he accepted that phone call. Like the old Marty McFly. Like the well, wasn't the screen on a monitor? I think the screen was on a monitor. It was on a no, monitor? It like, but it was a really no, big it wasn't screen. on a monitor. It was on a big... Was it on his wall? I think it was on his wall. It was on his wall, right? And then uh, Marty McFly. But doesn't his Jr. kid come home and says, yeah. "Let me see channel five, seven, six, yeah. it was like nine, seven, two hundred and thirty-seven. Yeah. yeah, nine, nine screens at once, and he likes to tilt the screen. You know, he doesn't want to see his screen. He tilts it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then there was the also part two's where they start start the thing with chicken. Remember, the, the boss calls him a chicken. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets himself trolled. But you never see that in the first one. Was it not the first one? There no, was nothing in the first one. It was only in the it? second one. And then it carries over into the third one. Yes. Oh, there was never you a know? little chicken thing? Yeah, because remember they called him a chicken in the... Yeah, uh, you, you think he was in the first one, but it never. he never had like that kind of... No. Nobody no. challenged him in oh, the first no, no, one. Oh, no, no, that was in the third one, too. When they in the second yellow, one, somebody challenged him, and in the third one, somebody challenged him. Yeah, they didn't call him a chicken in the third one. They called him yellow. What are you, yellow? That was the first time I heard oh, of that. Impression. No, they call him chicken at the end of the movie. Remember no, when I, they challenged him to a race? Yeah, that was at that. When he was back in pleasant time. Yeah, right? when he's back like in a, his regular time. Yeah, somebody was, calls uh, him a chicken. Wasn't it and Flea he remembers, Wet Hot Chili Peppers? That was, was it, Flea. That was Flea, yeah, right? Was yeah, Flea. that was Flea, dude. He's in like these little awkward small roles. I think he was in, um, but I don't know if you ever seen that movie, The Chase with Charlie Sheen. Chase? Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't think I've seen the chase. Yeah, Henry Wallace in it too. That's a pretty good movie. But um, it was Flea the Time Dream True Race, and um, this L because they talk about that in the second movie, and then I think Marty remembers that when his, yeah, um, he remembers his, that yeah, when, uh, because that's time. why he was in trouble in the in that time. Yeah, and the then second. he didn't never go anywhere. He he, he um he couldn't play guitar because he was got in that accident. Yeah. Yeah, he's almost like you know he I have like come kind, of, kind of um. Was it Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or something like that? I can't remember what the thing is. Arthritis. He couldn't yeah. play the guitar. Well, here's the here's here's the funny thing. Is his his girlfriend, his future wife. <laughs> when he goes to the future, she's somebody else. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I like that they say the line at the same time. I'm young. I'm oh, that was really good. You know, when um they they see each other, they had that shock. And I like they play the um high school sweetheart thing. In this movie too, like they've been together since they were in high school. Yeah, but he and didn't that's... recognize that she was a different woman. I oh I know <laughs> yeah when those two cops won her fingerprints I was like whoa fifty like she's a, she have a hell of a. You know, I, I, I was telling you the actress was different. Was the it actress. different? Wait, yes, it's about not the, the same one? actress. Is not. Yeah, the actress is different. Elizabeth Shue's the actress in the second one. Oh yeah! Oh, you know what? I think that that plays in why they had to reshoot everything in the first, like uh, the end scene. Elizabeth Shue. So who plays? Oh, Elizabeth Shue is the new one. Yeah, it's the new one. Oh, that's Elizabeth Shue. She was in the Boys, I believe. Yep, she was in the Boys. That's a good show. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, so who played her in the first one? Uh, I don't remember, but it's, it's not Elizabeth Shue. Yeah, so they changed it. Yeah, you know what? That's the Jennifer. Let me see. Let me look that up real quick. Oh, you know what? She's not even... Well, she's not in the wiki page. Jennifer. Oh, wow. It's really on the McFly family. I don't want to look at McFly family. Brown family. Doc Brown. Yeah, save the clock tower. <sighs> save the clock tower. That should be made into a poster. <laughs> oh, there's quite a few actresses because when Eric Stoltz was Marty McFly, it was Marona Harden. And then when F- Michael J. Fox was in, it was Claudia Wells. Really? Maybe they couldn't get... Maybe one of them had to... Couldn't reshoot some scenes. No, because she was taller. They put that she was taller than uh, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, she deemed too tall. Standing next to 
Michael J. Fox. Oh, wow. <laughs> they did change. Oh, look at that. Like three actors. Wow. I didn't know there was three. That's sad. I know. Like, so why'd you lose your job? Well, I was taller than the, the actor I was with. Three actresses just to play one character. Jennifer. And you know what's really funny? Like, they really tie in uh, Leah Thompson in all three of them. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, like, besides, besides, you know, there's four people that's all in all three of them, right? Michael J. Fox. Yeah, uh, well, the guy Murray. played Biff. Yeah, Biff. Yeah, Thomas something. And uh, Leah Thompson, four actors or, or actress. But well, they probably would have tied in, they probably would have tied in the, the actor who played George if he wasn't such a butt. Yeah, he was such a butt, yeah. <laughs> He would probably play the um the uh, Samus, right? Is that his name, Samus? Mafly. I think he would. I think he would have. Yeah, Samus. Yeah, I think so too. But they're probably just like, oh, just use Molly. What was really funny is like, how is the woman all looking the same? You know, I would understand that, like if Molly, uh, if Michael J. Fox played the grandfather, his dad, but why did they use Leah Thompson as the wife? That doesn't make any sense, you know. Like, are they like? It feels like they've been fucking the same family for generations. <laughs> so I think it's supposed to be like certain people are going to look the same throughout yeah, time. Yeah, but like let's just say, our, like for the men, right? Like maybe one of my generation, like great 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 grandfather, looks like me. I can understand it, but like yeah, but wife... sh- nobody on your yeah, nobody on your father's shot should lo- ever look like your mom. Yeah, like yeah, I'm like, I'm like your mom. Like doesn't look any like sense. My paternal great 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 grandparents looks like my current mom. It doesn't make any sense <laughs> unless you know the insects or something. Like what the heck's going on? Like I thought it was. I I, I noticed that a long time ago. Like even in my twenties, like why is Leah Thompson playing the great 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 grandmother or, or whatever? You know, it doesn't make any sense. It makes sense for Seamus to look like Seamus hey, or whatever. Hey, when you're a big star, you're gonna be you're gonna get to play whatever role you want. Yeah, was she a big star back in the eighties? Leah Thompson, yeah. she's gotta be right. Leah yeah. Thompson was a big star in the eighties. Remember oh. Howard the Duck? Oh yeah, see, I still haven't seen Howard the Duck. I would, I would name other movies, but I can't remember anything. You know else. what? I, I'm looking at her picture from uh, uh, Wikipedia. Oh, she doesn't look like she aged well. That was in 2015. On 2008, she still looked, you know, kind of good. <laughs> That's... I mean, you can't judge people by a picture. You know what? Linda Hamilton is one of those like, oh, she did not age well. <laughs> but like, yeah, I, I wouldn't tell Linda Hamilton that to her face. <laughs> I wouldn't face. Like, cause, um, cause she looks pretty buff in a Terminator, like the latest Terminator. But yeah, you know, yeah, who, I think you get for? your teeth kicked in. <laughs> who was that? Um, who was that? Kathleen Brigolow, right? Yeah, the director. Yeah, she looks really good in her sixties and seventies. Is it seventies? I don't oh, think she's see. in her seventies. Oh, sixties. Oh, she. Oh, she's sixty-nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, age fifty-one. Oh, let's see. I don't know when this picture was. Oh, ten years ago, she looks pretty good. And okay, well, fifty-nine. Glad we took it. I think I'm glad Back to the Future went to. Hey, let's see what know, people right, look right, like. Right, on, right. Let's see what everybody looks like on Just IMB. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I'm I, can, just, I can even see what you're looking at. So, I'm, oh, I'm looking at Wikipedia. That's how I'm going to. Those oh, things Wikipedia. So fast. Oh, excuse yeah, me. I, I, have, I have these things pull up. Like, that's you know, where I'm going to go look. That's where I'm going to go look at actors. It's the hey, Wikipedia. How do we talk about uh, Back to the Future without talking about the car? You know, I have a thing to ask you. So, I didn't follow cars back in the '80s, right? But I didn't back... follow cars in the '80s. Okay, either. but you know a lot about the car. I, uh, I'm just, like, you know, at least more than me. Okay. Okay. Um, that's what I'm putting out. So GMC at that time, did they never make a car that opens like a, what do they call that? Falcon. Well, they call it now. What did they call that door style back then oh, in '85? It's a gold wing. A gold wing, huh? Okay. A gull. A gull. Oh, oh, like a bird. Okay. Yeah, like the bird gull wing. Oh. That's well, what it's called. They What's made that, those that, in that? the '50s. They made those cars in the '50s. Oh, they did. Mercedes made it. Mercedes made a car like that in the '50s. Huh. So yeah. I haven't been out for a long time. I thought that was always cool when the first time I saw the DeLorean, you know, the doors open like that. Yeah, I never heard know. of a DeLorean. Yeah, what me you either. Think? John DeLorean, the, right? Well, the problem is, yeah, they only made one car and that was yeah. it. And was, uh, they went out of business. 
Oh, because I yeah. think it was a drug front. Or, or they suspected it was a drug front, so they had to shut that down. Yeah. yeah. John DeLorean. I mean, the car wasn't really that good of a it's, car. It's not, right? It just it looks really nice. So, yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, the car's not... Everybody goes, oh, the car's made out of stainless steel. The panels they glued onto the fiberglass body are made out of stainless steel. The glued car is not on? made out of... Yeah, the car's not made out of stainless steel. It's just uh, panels. Ah, because they pointed that out in the second Yeah, the car's fiberglass. Yeah, they pointed that out in the second movie. Like, when he asked him, like, hey, he's driving a 1955 Ford, and we didn't need 1985 DeLorean. That's going to have tennis through shit. Yeah, he said to rip him up like ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, see, look, like, you remember the no, movie so The well. car's just going to break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was great that how they find all those uh fifties cars, even in the first movie. It's like at least thirty something years old, right? Like, well, it's hard was, to find. Yeah, but you gotta think it was eighty five. Eighty five is still thirty years ago. Yeah, but people collected those cars. I mean, yeah, but then you had to get to the collectors, right? Like that's the you know what's amazing thing. now is to what? try to make try to make Back to the Future now and use the cars that's in the eighties. Oh yeah, that would be because <laughs> all those cars that's in the eighties on that show they're crappy. Oh, the, maybe the Toyota pickup? You know, 30 years ago, it was 1990s, Shane. 1990s. Yes, I know. I know. Isn't you know, that horrible? My my, my most, uh, you know, people talk about their dream cars. You know, I think I don't think you ever met Matt Cutler, like one of uh, the guys who worked at Lowe's. But um, the DeLorean is his favorite car. And I'm like, wow, from 1980, no, 85, 84. And I'm thinking like, you know what? You know what my dream car is? It's still the 1989 uh, Mazda RX-7. I still want that to this day. The you should go get you one. Yeah, I like stuff. <laughs> it's still like five grand though. I'm thinking like, why is this cost seven hundred bucks? Because everybody wants one. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Everybody wants one. I'm like, who? But, but five grand still not bad. Yeah, five grand still not bad. I still want that 1990 RX7, the one with the circle light. You know, yeah, the, I know which yeah, one. You, yeah, I know yeah. which one you want. But yeah, I want one that one. It doesn't matter what color either. Like, I just want it. Okay. It just have to be hmm. drivable. You know, I. And then that's it. <laughs> what? You want the rotary engine in it? Yes, I want the rotary engine. In it. That's exactly the reason. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you might want to get you one before, before, before they ruin right? them all. Yeah, yeah. Before, I'm sure there's people still. I mean, a lot of people are taking care of those 90s cars and 80s, mm-hmm. especially yeah. the Japanese sports cars. I mean, come on, there's only so many FDs. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so FDs in this country. <laughs> Oh, yeah, in, in Texas, country. you know. I mean, in California, I'm pretty sure you can find one for a grand, you know. <laughs> but like, but in Texas, like, who's gonna drive this car? Oh, I bet you a lot of people. Probably pretty popular in Houston. Oh yeah, I think yeah, Houston. Yeah, I think Houston. No, Houston is probably the only place I think that would be popular. Yeah. Yeah, or no, San Antonio. I, I um, I like the DeLorean. I sometimes, well, I haven't seen one, but like. I have seen it on the street before here, but not not in no not where I'm in now. Back in you know Dallas or Plano, those oh, are yeah. major spot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Lorian's okay. I mean, it's more popular now than it was in the eighties. It 80s. is because, no, but the sad no thing is, you still get it at a good good price nowadays. Yeah, if you could... what, I think what happens is because people who love this movie, right? They're like they're our age when they have money. They're like, oh, I'm gonna buy this car now. You know, exactly. I couldn't afford it back, yeah. Because, I mean, you're not going to get a DeLorean because it was a fast car, because it wasn't. Yeah, it was a fast car. It's I mean, happy, right? Even look at the movie when he's driving. He's going up 88. Yeah, I think the speedometer, the speedometer only goes to, like, 90-something, 90 96 yeah, and, and, or so. And I think my vein is faster than the DeLorean now. You yes. Know, it's a, yeah. Everything's faster, you Everything know, because it shows up going up to 88. I'm like, I got, I just bought a pickup. <laughs> I push the gas down. I'm gonna, oh, I, in a few seconds, I'm going to make it to 110. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it is only got a four cylinder with a turbo. <laughs> oh dang! Oh. I mean, well, it's like it's so fa- it's so fast. Uh, I mean, nowadays it's like getting in it and driving it. It's like anything from like in the past, like even in the nineties. I'm like that was just stupid to even try to own one. So, <laughs> hey, speaking of power, I like the evolution of the um, DeLorean. How it went from plutonium power to um, well, it's it? still Recycle plutonium race, it's right? A- well, it was Mister uh, Fusion. Mister Fusion, yeah, it was like which is know, basically it had the same it had the same thing. It just could turn anything into, into energy. Yeah, it, but it had like a fusion reactor. Yeah, because he was, I, I like that he went to the which fusion, is funny because we don't have that, that yet. No, see, we that's still, the thing. Yeah, 
I mean, that could kill you even today. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, okay, well, we all the futuristic stuff, right? But we don't have that Mister Fusion thing where you can turn anything into power. Like, I thought, I thought that was a very nice touch that he thought about it. Like, hey, let's not use plutonium yeah, but, anymore. But I mean, okay, today now nowadays, I mean, you can turn trash to electricity, and a lot of oh. cities do that. No, a lot but you of them. But you can't turn a banana peel yeah. <laughs> to, to gigawatts of power. Hey, you know what? Maybe he just needed the extra juice, literally. Like, you know, I, I need a little bit just to make this trip, you know. We're going back to the future. So Yeah, what did he do? He, what did he throw? A banana peel and some beer or something? Yeah, the beer can. The beer can. Yeah, yeah like, I need fuel. And he put the beer can and put a banana peel in there and maybe a salad. <laughs> but then after that, they didn't really touch on that anymore, the power thing. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, it was really something you didn't need to explain to the yeah, audience. They, they, you know? Yeah, they don't need to like. Cause I mean, had, come the on. Car got struck by lightning at the end of the that's second the thing. movie. It's it's one of those movies that's really you don't want to go too deep into anything, or you'll yeah. you'll just lose the story. And nowadays we want to go too deep into anything, like like oh, the Matrix, do. like Matrix yeah. two and three. That's exactly what happened when you're gonna go too deep. Now we have Matrix Revolutions and Matrix. What was that? We loaded or or we loaded and Revolutions. The first movie was fine by itself, and then they trying to get into too deep to explain. Yeah, I'm like, why are you why are you telling me this? <sighs> just do the story, okay? Because yeah. I'm like, why would why would Doc Brown tell Marty how a, a Mr. Fusion works? I mean, I mean, Marty wouldn't know. Yeah, Marty, Marty wouldn't Marty, know. He's Marty not a barely grasps. Oh yeah, Marty barely grabs the concept of time travel. I mean, he just gets in the yeah. car and goes there. Okay, he just knows that. Like, hey, I need power. I need to go eighty miles, eighty eight miles an hour. It's A plus B equals the time okay that's that's all he needs to know because you know when he explained to doc brown the first one he talked about he needed plutonium and then doc brown said well i'm pretty sure in your time you could just pick up plutonium any convenience store. <laughs> no, but i like the thought process kind of like you know when tesla was thinking about the future like hey in the future whatever is available right and doc brown put that logic <laughs> 30 years from now you could buy plutonium anyway yeah, so, I mean, you always see the future as being bigger than it, than you'll probably be. Yeah, yeah. But that's the problem. That's why you'll miss the little things that are amazing. Yes, amazing. I know. Like I said, we have phones that can can make them. You can make a movie on oh, and listen to music on. You know, it seems kind of it seems kind of dumb to me. But I remember when when I was like like when Back to the Future come out, I would have loved a movie camera. I mean, my parents couldn't even afford a movie camera. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I hardly knew anybody had a movie, a video camera. No, no one, like the, the now, me and Cody can, got one, can, right? And it's not even the best quality. It's just what we yeah. can afford. Remember? But that's the thing now. You can get a camera. I mean, a camera will make a movie, and you can also listen to all the music you want. You can get a you cheap, can, you can get a, one of those cheap Walmart phones, like $100, and it's a very decent camera. And, and it's not just it's not just the movie and the, and the sound. It's You can get on the internet, dude. Yeah, you can get on the internet. Like before, like in 85, like what? they never talk about the internet. That was the great thing. Yeah, too. you can get on the internet. They, I mean, like, the only thing they knew about the internet is if they watch war games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things they didn't predict the internet because like that wasn't even something you could thought of at the time right like can you imagine if they make back to the future now they like they would have to skip a whole bunch of stuff like they didn't even have cell phones in back to the future too yeah yeah right. they didn't have they didn't have a lot of the stuff that we have you know yeah. none of i mean everybody was still buying books and everything <laughs> their well, future. The, well the only thing they had was video chat yeah they had the video chat the phone, and they yeah. had they had the like, phone thing. And then, like, however, he the payment was submitted through the phone thing. That was pretty futuristic. Yeah, that's that what pretty... you do right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it looked kind of they they did theirs a little bit more than it really is now. I mean, you got yeah. video chat, but they go off this machine, this huge machine. I'm like, I'm sitting here on a video chat on my laptop. <laughs> like, no, I mean, this looks great. I'm like, what are y'all stupid? Crazy? Like your your you're using your laptop camera, right? Like right now, yeah. It's still yeah. better than the. Well, I won't say it's probably a little bit better than the video camera that we use. If not the same quality, does that make sense? Like yeah, it phone... depends on whose video camera. Your video camera is pretty good. No, yeah, video camera is pretty good because uh, me and Cody got the same one, but because that was like over a thousand dollars that we spent. Oh man, yeah. that that my my laptop didn't even cost anywhere near that. I know, and now you know what I have um I have a pretty nice um Canon camera. It's half that price. 
Yeah. It's super <laughs> nice, you know. It's mirrorless. It's not like a film. It doesn't have the shutter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's no super shame. nice, you know. Shoot, my phone is like six hundred bucks, and it's a really nice camera, front and back. Wow. Like, yeah, why my would laptop didn't even cost near that much. <laughs> 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 you paying too much. <laughs> oh, I, I, well, mine's uh, not a flagship phone. It's uh, one plus, but you know, it's still a nice phone. You know, it's kind of yeah. like when on one of our podcasts, you know, we talk about the futuristic stuff. You know, this is what I call my Star Trek device, okay? Let's just say I go back in time in the DeLorean, right? If I went back to 1955, if I bring this back home, they, people will be more interested in this than the time machine that I came back in. Yeah, they would. Yeah, right? It's, it's so funny. They would be more interested in this. Well, because they could probably get more use out of that phone yeah. than they could your time machine. Because this is the answer to the future. Everything I don't know that's I have... an answer to the future. No, not the answer to the future, but like, answer to like, hey, we can create well, actually, this. Actually, you know what? Like the Terminator now, effect. Let me tell you this, though. If you were to take that phone back with you to 1955, it's not going to be any good. There's no cell towers. There's no, no. satellites. No, no one's going to space yet. So you can't do anything with that phone. But then what they're going to do is that they're just going to dissect it. They just want to check out the technology inside. They could probably reverse engineer well, they probably won't believe you. It'll do anything that you told them it can do because oh, it doesn't yeah, do it that. Doesn't have, he doesn't have the cell tower. The only thing that he can do is the calculator. Maybe play some, show him some pictures. Picking you have to pictures. show him some pictures. Taking pictures yeah, you have to show be, pictures. Taking pictures. You better, have some music. you better have some music on there. Yeah, just some music on there. Because like, you know, they tell them about the yeah. tell them about the internet and the satellite stuff. It's going to take you all day. Yeah, and they're probably not going to still people believe like, you. What? It's, it's, what? It's like, you went to like space. The majority of people you can't go to space. You can't go to space. You know, think, most of those people be like, you can't even travel faster than sound yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something, buddy. It might be a spoiler. You'll never be as travel as fast as sound. Okay, this thing's Star Wars. What is Star Wars? Wait, <laughs> yeah, but you can travel faster than sound. So, oh, faster than sound. I'm thinking stuff as of light. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say light. I said yeah, sound. I was, Remember, like, they didn't break the sound barrier. Yeah, not yet. No. Oh, yeah, the sound barrier. I know. I don't think they broke the sound barrier. I can't remember what year they broke the sound barrier. You know, I forgot to... We'll have about... to call Chucky. Oh, wait, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Be like, hey, Chucky, you know, um, what year did you break the sound barrier? You know, think about the sports almanac. I've been trying to look for, like a, a look for a replica of that book. I mean, pretty sure someone should have made that by now, right? Wasn't it from 1950 to 2010, the sports replica? almanac? Why would they make a replica of it? Like an interesting book. Maybe they make that book cover, right? It's just I like have a... this, though. Whoa! Wow! Where'd you get that? Yeah, awesome. Yes. What do you mean where? Oh, you gotta get this then. Is that what is that? A vinyl? No, it's a book. It's Back to the Future. Oh. It's one of those books, you know. It's got all the little things. Like uh, it's got a picture of Marty and his uh, his uh, brother and sister. It's holographic. It's hard to see. Oh, oh, that's cool. But if you turn it right, yeah, they yeah. disappear and reappear. Oh, that's cool. So I can wipe him out if I want to. Where'd you get that at? Oh, I bought this on Amazon. Oh, on Amazon? I wonder if they. Yeah, I'm plugging for Amazon, Amazon, by the way. So. Oh. Well, I mean, I've, I originally saw it at a bookstore, and then I just I buy everything on Amazon. All my books are usually bought on Amazon. So. Because they're cheaper. Because I mean, you know, the bookstore. Yeah. If I would have bought this at the bookstore, I would have to pay fifty bucks for this book. Whoa. I paid probably thirty something. I think I paid thirty dollars, if even that much, for this book. That's that's not a bad price. I want a half price bookstore have it. I'm sure they did because the book's been out a while. It's been out for a while. Yeah, it's, it's been out a while. Conclusion. I mean, it's been a couple of years. I think I just picked this up maybe. Uh, I think I bought. I got. I think oh. I actually got this earlier this year. Which one is it? Is it the uh, the ultimate visual history? No, mine's just called. Uh, Revise. Yeah, it is. It is. It is the ultimate visual history. There's, an, uh, there's another revised and expanded edition, Shane. Oh, well, yay. <laughs> I'm not. I already got my book. I'm good. Oh, they make a, a book for kids, too. Back to the Future, the classic uh, illustrated storybook. Yeah, you don't need that. Come on. <laughs> hey, if I want my kids to learn about Back to the Future, that would be cool. Your kids are going to watch that and think you're old, dude. <laughs> Just move on. Well, if you think you about it, they might not. You know, like... We were walking the no, dogs. Right? You gotta think. Well, you got to think, phone. though. The first Back to the Future movie is going to be like watching 1955 to them. Yes. 
It is because yes. remember when you watch, remember when you first watched Back to Future and you're and they goes back to 55 and you're like, man, that's a long time ago. It is a long time ago. I know what is 85, 35 years ago now. And, yeah, well, that's oh the thing. I, I just watched Back to Future, the regular one, and then when you look back on it and see how, like, see 1985, mm-hmm. I mean, you because because uh, I was alive during 1985, you think, oh, it wasn't that long ago, and then you look at it, you go, man, no, everything looks like everything looks old, everything looks so old. Yep. I mean, come on. You see, like, rail shacks in the mall. People go to the mall in Back to the Future. People don't go to the mall anymore. No. No. <laughs> no Penny. Especially not this time. Hey, what do you think about the timeline? How come it's always 1985, 1955, 2015, and 1885? Like, how come every year has you end in a five? It's really know. weird, right? But isn't everything... Well, because he does... Because he's... Well, not everything does. Because, you know, when he uh, leaves, when Doc Brown leaves the, for the... Last time, well, okay. The first of the movie, he's gonna go twenty five years into the future. But when Marty comes back and saves him, well, sees that he had that bulletproof vest on. Yeah. He goes, "I'm gonna go thirty years in the future." From so not everything ends in a five. So not everything in a five. Well, wait, when 1985, 30 years in the future, that's twenty fifteen. Yeah. Because everything was twenty fifteen. Yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah, but he was going to go, eventually, he was going to go 25 years in the future. But then he goes 30 years in the future. Oh. Huh. I thought it was weird. I just thought it was weird that it was like 5555, five, five, five. you know? They might just like the number 5 for some reason. There must, there may be something to it. Yeah. I like that Um, it changed the tires. For the 1955, they put those white wall tires on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Well, because those are the only tires they had. So. Yeah, yeah. is that the white wall tires only tires they had? Well, I mean, I think you could get tires that weren't white wall. But, I mean, I think, what what did they have? It was a radio. Was it radio or belted? There's a difference oh, yeah. between tires. Modern oh, yeah. tires and old tires aren't the same. Oh, I have no idea. Yes, yeah, it's how they're, how they're put together. Huh. So, Wait, yeah, so... There's, a, there's a difference. That's why they had to have white walls. <laughs> Like, like, oh, I know what we should talk about. Like, what did Doc Brown like to say? Great Scott. What does that mean? It's just an expression, right? Like, it's just Scott. an expression. It's just an I don't expression, think it means right? anything. I've always oh, okay. heard people say Great Scott. It's just him, right? No, I've heard people say it. Oh, you have? Oh, no. Yeah, people never. used to say it all the time. I think it's just an expression they use for the, the marker time period. Because, oh. you know, like, okay, Mar- uh, Marty always says, heavy. that's heavy. Oh, that's, that's heavy. heavy. Like, that's the word you know? again. And nobody says heavy. I don't even remember. Heavy, right? like, I don't even days, remember people saying that. Is that what heavy. they say? Like, yeah, what he said. This one again. Is, is somebody having your time page to like to uh, mess with the gravitation gravitational pull? Yeah, something's wrong with the gravitational pull. Why is everybody so heavy? <laughs> That's the one again. What does that mean? Like, I like that they make fun of slang. I guess like not slang, but like um pop pop terms, like like pop culture terms at at that time. Well, yeah, period. it was slang. It'd be slang. It was slang, I mean, right? Yeah. Because you always so have good. every generation has its slang words. Yeah. Like oh. Yeah. That's heavy. That's lit. Is that what the kids say now? Oh, that is. That's lit. what. That's what. Yeah, I almost just want to punch somebody when I hear something so <laughs> lit. Like that's lit. I'm like, man, I just want to hit you. That's lit. So lit. That's I never lit. really heard anybody say that, but uh, you know they do. And I'm yeah, like, me neither. I guess. I just, uh, I just want to slap you when you say. Oh, it's probably lit. had to be modern kids and someone in their twenties, right? I want to say. That's man, I lit. think you have to be under twenty. Well, if if not younger, really. like it's, it might probably be younger. You know, I'm not. I don't want to be one of those people in the future. Like, hey, man. These it's like when people, when people go, oh, they're throwing shade on that person. I'm like, what? <laughs> sound like you're like five. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to the... Um, okay, so out of all three movies, which one did you like the best? Before we well, go to the Western. Three? Yeah. Before we go to the Western. Is... Oh, I, I think I like... Man, I don't know. I like the second one the best. Okay. Because I like the future. Anything that shows me the future, I don't know why I'm into it. Even though the future, but it is. Because, you know, when Back to the Future, the second one came out, I had the sunglasses. Well, that came with Pizza Hut. But I bought all the little cars. I always had, I had to buy all the, like, futuristic cars. I mean, I like the DeLorean. I got tons of DeLoreans. Oh, you know, I have a DeLorean but, uh, right here. I have two of them. That's the. Yeah, I know. I also see ones. your Ectomobile. And uh, my Hot Wheels one. I love this one. Legos, man. Oh, man. Is it completed? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's what the Lego guys drive in, okay? Dang. No, <laughs> Don't be trashing Legos. That looks good. It is cool. 
the wheels fold up under here. Oh, so it turned into a flying one? Wow. Yep, it's a flying one. What do you think about plus this? Plus, I put the uh, but I put the Mister uh, Fusion on it. Yeah. You can build this when the kit when you buy this kit, which they don't offer anymore. It's discontinued, and some people buy. I only bought one because I, I think I paid like thirty something bucks for it. Wow. But wow. it gives you enough parts to build it. The nineteen eighty five version, the modified twenty fifteen version, or the eighteen hundred version. Ooh. Well, I guess you'd say the nineteen fifty five version since. Yeah. Because it would come with the red wheels and stuff. Yeah, the red wheel with the white wall, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it comes with the red wheel. You don't get the white wall tires. Well, there, but it the comes 1885 with red wheels. version is they, um, instead of wheels, they put the railroad, tra uh, not railroad, tra what do they call those? Well, things? yeah, you'd say the 1800 had the railroad tires, but, and it has that metal, it had that wooden box on the Yeah, the wood, yeah, yep. With all the circuit, well, the flash bulbs, what do you call them? Vacuum bulbs on Vacuum there that bulbs, he made. Well. That he made. But yeah, I got the Lego version. Oh, so I have so a Lego cool. Doc Brown and a Lego Marty McFly to go with my Lego Indiana Jones and my Lego Long Ranger and my Lego <laughs> well, Boba Fett. <laughs> okay, so now I know your favorite is the second one because it, you know, it shows the future. I know the, uh, uh, what is it, popular consensus in a way. A lot of people didn't like the third one because it was a Western. Like, you know, they said oh, the old I wasn't West. against the third one. No, Just I wasn't against the third one. The third one to me seemed like it was they were in a hurry to get it done, you know? Huh. I mean, wasn't it the shortest one? It's the shortest one, but like I think the story focused more on Doc Brown than Marty this time. Yeah, you're right. right? It, was a doc, it was more of a Doc Brown. Because yeah, he went to the 1800s because that was his, uh, what, his childhood dream? Yeah, it was hard to dream. dream, dream Which to actually, they kind of, they already, they show something from the 1800s in the first movie. The first movie, you remember when the uh, Libyans show up? Yes. Doc Brown pulls out a pistol. Oh yes, an old west a style. Yeah, kind of an old west style yeah. pistol. Like he, he pulls to be out a cowboy. Cowboy. He wanted to settle in the west, you know. And well, you know what? because remember in the 1950s, all you watched was westerns. Yes, see, yeah, exactly. Okay, so no, my wife doesn't like westerns, right? She likes the modernized western, like the Mandalorian. But we already talked about that. So let me ask you something. How I don't know if that's old modernized? Is... That's just Star Wars. It's a Star Wars, so it's I guess spiritualistic. <laughs> So what age is Doc Brown supposed to be? But Dar the Star Wars is do what? What age is Doc Brown supposed to be? Because the first time when I saw the movie, right, I thought he was always an older guy, like because of the white hair and how he looks. Is he supposed to be in his forties, fifties, sixties, seventies? You know what I mean? Because like, so yeah, at no, the end I know what you're saying. Third run, right? You know he. Well, you, he here's the, the thing. Wife. Remember in the first movie when he's in the 1955 and he sees the video of himself? Yeah. He goes, "Oh my God, I'm an old man." Yeah. Jesse, that's the thing. When he said, "I'm an old man," how old was he in 1955? Well, I think I think the the thing is the character. I don't know. Yeah, I, how, what it, is this age? Does anybody know? Yeah, because see, I don't know if they made, I don't know if they made him look older. For On purpose, right? Yeah, I don't know if they made him look older or they made him look younger. Yeah, right. Because oh, yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know which one is what. Because in 1955, think, he already think, has a house. He's already established, right? And yeah, he's because been at least he's living there 30 years. So I'm thinking like he's got to be at least 60, mid 60 or 70, right? No, can't be. Okay, so let's just say in 1955, because looking at he's still alive now. He's not yeah. that old. He's no, I mean like for the movie, like that for the, movie. For the movie. So is he? I don't know. Is he already 50? 65 of age in 1985. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say he's probably whatever age he was during the filming of that movie was his 1955 age. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Yeah, why? Because I'll okay. That. Because then when he gets to the 80 because when he gets into the when they shows him in the 85, he goes yeah. to the future, right? And yeah. he comes back to talk to Marty. Yeah. Remember he peels all that skin off his face and <laughs> tells him and tells and he got younger. Yeah, 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 he got younger than because yes. you know when he comes back to, comes back, it's eighty five comes back. He goes, I didn't want you to realize I didn't want you to think of somebody. I came back to my my eighty. I looked like I was in eighty five, but when he pulls it off, he looks like oh. he's fifty. He looks back like he's from nineteen fifty five. Yeah, he pulls it off. He goes, oh, I wanted to stay the same so you would recognize me, even though he looks exactly. He looks the same. same. I know, that was a but funny he, joke. But he tells him, you know, he had a, he had like all his skin redone and he had all his blood changed out. No, well, I want to say because like in 1955, let's just say in 
1955 Doc Brown was like 35 or 40, right? Because he always has. I would say he was at least in his 40s, bro. Yeah, okay, so in his 40s. So in 1985, he was already 70 then. Because that was 30 years later. Yeah. I so I'm now could... thinking, like, what is a 70 year old man being friends with a 17, 18 year old boy? They never explained that relationship. Like, how the hell did they even know each other? I don't think you but want to explain that relationship. No, nobody cares. You know, it's kind of like family guy. You're the only one just that cares. I'm like, who cares? I mean, doesn't everybody hang out with a mad scientist? Yeah, doesn't I mean, everybody? Like, how does he even know the mad I mean, scientist of the town? You know, like, I for would, a mad scientist, know. it looks like he's pretty really well for himself. It's a nice, it's a pretty nice house. Well, yeah, the 55 house. Yeah, the remember 55 when it shows house, the, yeah. You remember when it shows the 85 house? It's got, it's, it's, there's, there's a. Oh, it's a small place. It's Burger King. Little... There's a Burger King parking lot. He's in a, his house, is, his garage is sitting right there in a Burger King parking lot. Oh, I don't remember that part. Cause you, you just don't remember that? Yeah, I, I forgot it too. Yeah. You gotta watch it because, because you know, it shows the clocks, which is another thing. When the, the movie starts off, it shows the clocks. Yeah. He has a clock with an old man. It looks like Doc Brown hanging from the, uh, the clock. Um, Whoa, from the clock tower? Like, yes, it, yes. It's almost, it's like for show, it's kind of for showing you the end of the movie. It shows no. him, yeah, it shows this guy hanging from one of the, the clock deals. And then it goes past and it shows an article of him burning his house down. Hey. And he had to sell it all. So just from that, it made me realize I just answered my own question. That means Doc Brown already knew him back in 55. That's the relationship. He knows that he has to make friends with Marty or none of this would have happened. Maybe. Right? I mean, like... I mean, yeah, it could be he, true. You know, it's just the time always repeating itself, right? The same thing will be happening. Isn't that strange? Yeah. yeah I well, I mean, they already knew what was going to happen at the end of this first movie. Yeah, so he, Doc Brown technically never dies, I guess. In a way, Doc Brown, when he got shot, he would already have a nice life vest on, right? Like, if we believe yeah. that. Yeah, who's this? Because he read the, the oh, paper love, that he tore I know, I love time travel. I love it. It's so hard to explain. But like, oh, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Nobody knows. Yeah, okay. But like I said, the reality of this time travel is Doc Brown is dead. <laughs> the reality of Doc Brown is dead. Okay. Yeah, the, the first Doc Brown we see gets shot down, he's dead. He and, Marty Bar Bri, and Marty, oh, when he goes in... So yeah. yeah, when... So when you, if you're the see the original movie, let's say the real movie of hit their first timeline, we're gonna call that the prime timeline. Yeah. The police oh. will show up. They'll find Doc Brown's dead body. Yeah. Some plutonium. And, and then Marty's gone and, from that for life yeah, forever. Marty's parents will report him as missing. His girlfriend will be like, I don't ever know what happened to him. So if you say that, like when he went back to fix the future, when he went back to 1985, that would be two Martys. Yep. No. But yeah. Yeah, that's but there's yeah, there's another there's a loop right there. There's, there's a loop he right there. Back. But he that's not back. him. Neither one of those Marty that Marty that he sees in front of him isn't isn't him. Oh, that's not him. I mean, oh. it's him. It's him. That guy that he sees leaving has all his life experiences. Oh man, that's not that's not him. Oh gosh, this this is oh, so that Marty. See that runs. Marty that he sees. See that Marty he sees running away. Yeah. He's going to make another alternate. Yes. And so this repeats itself. So Yeah, it's just going to keep repeating itself. So you're saying the movie is the prime line where he never met Marty. Yeah, the very first the very first what we watch when he gets in that time machine and leaves, that's the prime line. Well, how do after you know? he after he leaves, it's not prime. Well, we don't know that. No, see that's the thing when uh, that's the thing, you're tells, right. When Doc Brown you're right. tells Marty about the flux capacitor, he never told him that like, "Oh, you were there that night too," you know? When I thought of, because you know, I got hit my head, and then that's that, that's when it came to me. Maybe he never told Marty that they met back in the past because they wouldn't Doc, know. No, no, I mean, like, because Doc Brown knows that you you're not allowed, you're not supposed to talk to anyone about that, or it might not happen. Yeah, but Doc Brown wouldn't even know if you're an <sighs> alternate. Yeah, you know, if you're an alternate reality, you won't know. Yeah, if we talk about alternate realities, but if we talk about yeah. one, time but we could line, be watching the whole movie. Could be uh, the whole movie. Watch what we think is a prime. Could have been an alternate reality. Ooh. the whole time, we never got to see the beginning. It's not so like it's, Terminator. It's only an alternate. Is because you went back. Yeah, anytime That's you, when it anytime, like, anytime you, you make a time, time jump. Yeah, it's a time anytime jump. you make a time jump, it's an alternate. Because look, for example, 
I want to travel 10 minutes ahead. I want to travel 10, 10 minutes back to this time period. It's going to be an alternate. You know why? Because I didn't see myself 10 minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> now, if, if I was to pop up 10, if I was 10 minutes ago, or I was popped up, then I know I'm in an alternate reality now. And the guy that I'm seeing is Prime. You ever seen that movie Primer? Yes, because you showed it to me. Yeah, I, it's like that when they keep going like what was it? They go back only six hours at a time or something. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing though. You can't if it didn't happen, then it, there has to become an alternate. So one, you know? once you go back in time, is not you don't you not only create one alternate. It's it's an ongoing cycle. Yeah, well your timeline will go on. The timeline that we're in will go on, but, we won't but now have... you already created a second one. Yeah, but then you won't be in it. Like the you can original... get whatever you want. Yeah, you won't ever be able. To... I, I mean, they made a good. I think they made a good way to go back to your original timeline in, uh, in game. But yeah, <laughs> who's gonna that explain was... that? <laughs> yeah, it's, th- it's so hard to explain. You know, that's Tony Stark level crap. Oh man, the only other per- the only other person who would know that other than Tony Stark would be uh. Mr. Fantastic, and he doesn't exist yet in the Marvel Universe. So, the, well, I can't... Okay, so I want to discuss this. I know we talked about this when we were both working together before. So once you go back anywhere in the timeline, you create an alternate, right? That means... Exactly. That means the version of us right here would never be able to come back to this timeline. We would be missing forever. I mean, I guess... Who knows? Nobody knows it, but I would feel you can't. You can't... The, because like they say, you're not supposed to The only way anything. you could jump back, the only way, the way I see, you can only come back is if you you come back before you left. I mean, after you left. You come back after you left. Yeah, after you left. Because I mean, you can travel. Far. You can go forward anywhere you want. You'll never. If you go forward in future, you're not going to create an alternate. It's just like oh. you've got. It's like you've got pulled out of the time stream, and you're just sitting in limbo, right. and then time's moving. Let's say I want to jump an hour ahead for me. You snap your fingers. I'm going to an hour ahead. Yeah, but for everybody that's in that timeline, yeah, you had to you, you had to play out anything. Exactly, you had to play out that hour before I show back up. Right. Oh, I, for me, like oh, I, I waited an hour for you. It was just a second. Exactly. Oh, it's just it's just, you're just getting pulled out of the time deal. I mean, even if they were to put you in like stasis, like in a sleep, that would be a, t- a time travel to the future for you. Yeah, because you're not you're not going through it you're just waking up it's like oh like three demolition days man time. like demolition exactly. man yeah exactly yeah, you like never change anything because you could go full in the future but going back in time is tricky yeah because you gotta think going back in time if you if it's never happened in your timeline it's gonna have to be an alternate timeline yeah it's gonna be in alternate. order for it to happen oh that's can't be an interesting you can't plot yeah because i mean you can't jump five minutes and go oh you're i remember you now why would yeah. you do that I mean, come on, this is not butterfly effect. You know what? Yeah, see, even if you, you don't even have to go 30 years back. Let's just say go back five minutes and change something. Yeah. That's all you yeah. I think, I mean, no, no, no. Just, not, just not put it this way. Action. The act, the act of even appearing. Yep, yep. The act of appearing, it changes everything. Yes, just, just appearing, you've already changed time. It doesn't matter if you're hiding. Let's say you were to go and hide in somewhere in a closet or something, just so I can let them see you and then you go back to the future. You've already changed the timeline just by being there. Yeah, you by were being never there. there. Yeah, you were you never there before. As soon as you step in whatever spot, is already changed. Yeah. That's oh, why I'm, I'm like, thinking like in Endgame, if you count every time they went back in time, it automatically created a new timeline. Yep. And they're trying to do the explanation thing where like you just go back in that same space and put the stone back. Like Then that's two alternate realities. There's exactly. one without and one with. Oh. So that's like, that's like when... Uh, Captain America goes back in time to give him the stones back. Yeah. When he goes to all those alternate realities, he had to make sure he appeared after. After. The fact, yeah. After it was taken. Yep. So it's like he an could, instant. Yeah, because yeah, if he was sure, up yeah. here before it was taken, then he's already created an alternate reality. See, that's what I like. Like, it, they never explain, like, you can go back exactly to that time. Yeah. You can't go back exactly back to that time. 
Yeah, you can't. I know that's how they explain it, but you know, like you said, it's Tony Stark logic. You know, like, exactly at that time, then you yeah. won't change anything. You know. I mean, come on. It's either it's either Tony but Stark you know logic what? or Bruce Banner logic. These are just talk. You know, we will never be able to prove this wrong or right. Maybe like, that's the thing. Would, if know? somebody was to ever time travel backwards, how are they going to tell us about it? Yeah, they won't. They can't. They're gone now. Yeah, they're gone. I'm like I believe that once you go out of your time, whether backward or forward, you will never come back. Because anybody that does times travels backwards to those people in that time period, it's gonna seem like he came forward. Well, said it again. If anybody it's gonna seem back. almost like he came forward. People, the only people that's in our time, our time, time that said they ever time travel, have always traveled forward in the future. They've always come from the past. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. You know, everybody. There's people. Oh yeah, I time travel, but then they always came from the past. They came from the past. Never from, you never know anybody went to the past. You never meet anybody. Gets, oh, I'm from the future. So you're saying that if anybody comes up in 2020, they would have traveled from 1955. Yeah, I'm just saying if anybody ever comes back and tells you they're from the future, then you're an alternate reality all of a sudden. Ooh, yes. So you're not real. Let's say, let's say if somebody pops up behind you, they're, they're from the year 2050. Yeah. Then guess what, Lamb? Me and you aren't real. We're an alternate reality. That means there's another there's another one of us. So an alternate reality. Matter of fact, reality. the guy that pops up behind you, he probably killed you when you were an old man. <laughs> oh, and that's how he came back? Wow, that's that's yep. trippy, man. That's trippy. It's not going to be like, what is that, Looper? Remember Looper? Yeah, I do. Where he tried to use the same, uh, the same uh, time travel ideas that was in Back to the Future. Yeah. But it, it couldn't follow its own rules throughout the whole movie. Yeah. It's really crazy with, uh, yeah, Joseph Gordon love it and Bruce So, Lewis. yeah, where they kill you in the past and then, then you don't, then you uh, you fade out in the future. I'm like, no, they don't work that way. Yeah. Somebody kills you in the past and you're already in the future. They, they killed you in an alternate time, time. Yeah, alternate timeline. They let you stay with the uh, one so timeline rule. they're not going to hurt rule. you. Yeah, one timeline Like, if somebody's going to go, I'm going to travel back in time and kill you, Shane, I'd be like, go ahead because you're not going to get me. Yeah, you're not going to get me. You're I'll send get... a letter to your parents. Yeah. You're not coming back. <laughs> Ooh. It's hard to get. I don't want to say hot, like time travel right because there's really so no basically right. we can think of it this way. Look, okay, Terminator. They send they send the aliens send okay the, uh, the aliens, computers the, the robots the yeah. computers yeah the robots the computers Keep they send somebody back. they send somebody back to go kill John Connor but then they would so never change the timeline yeah, that's the thing John Connor can just give them the thing and go oh you're creating the alternate reality I'm still here dude yeah. That that time John Connor is still there from the future. Yep. So I think they, they, you know, you know what? Maybe the robot is just trying to create a future where John Connor doesn't exist. That's Maybe it. so. That makes yeah. that makes more sense. Yeah, because you know computers are smart. Like, oh, I know I'm creating so. an alternate future. Because how many how many Terminators have they done? Fucking six of them, right? Okay, six alternate realities now. <laughs> or even just want, like, you they just want to see what. They just want to see what actors they can get for John Connor each time. Yeah, it's just basically, you know, is it six movies? They're no, like, yeah, I don't really double. like that first act. Yeah, see, they let the robots went back and they go like, filters. yeah, I don't really like this John Connor. So it's they go back in filters, time. Two filters, yeah. Every time so they finally... go back in time, it's two filters. One alternate and one wheel. Well, you got your original. Yeah, you the have original your original timeline. Then, then your alternate timeline. Yeah, as soon as you go back, it's... But if you copy the same, but if they do the exact same thing, the alternate, then it's just going to keep going in a circle, and you're going to have a giant. You're just going to keep creating more and more and more alternates. Huh. God, I love talking about time travel. I do. I know yeah. that's why this is the greatest thing. <laughs> time travel's not. I mean, time travel's real, but it's not like you can't go back. Nobody's ever gone back. You can always go forward because you can't. You're you're constantly going forward anyway. Yeah, it's just time traveling, just always going forward. Yeah. Yeah, you're always going forward. I mean, you're See, constantly. That's the thing. Time forward. travel, like the time travel, is not real when you wanted to go back in time. We could time travel into the future. We're always time yeah. traveling in the future. Yeah. We're doing it right in, now for free. Exactly. One minute will be a minute in the future. <laughs> yeah, one minute in the future. I will be there, you know, because I'm traveling into the future. Time just passes by, and that's time traveling. Yeah. What are we going to do? Review all the time travel movies oh, now? Oh, no. So, no, no, no. So, time travel is real when, um, I guess when you fly overseas. Like, if you fly to Europe, right? 
I'm going into the future. Because, you know, they're 13 hours ahead. So when you fly, like, a five-hour flight, like, oh, suddenly it's 3, 3 p.m. when I left. But when I get there, it's, like, 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's... Because of clock, <laughs> I could change the clock. I could just move clock. No, but that, that's, that's that's without you changing the clock here, though. Like, you don't have to change the clock. If I fly from Europe back to the States, right? Oh, yeah, I'm coming back in the, the past. <laughs> yeah. So that's a way, like, hey, I could keep, I could celebrate, like, New Year's Day twice or New Year's Eve twice, right? By going to New York, do the New Year's, right? And then hurry up and take, a, like, an hour or two flight to Texas, celebrate New Year's again, and see how fast I can get to California, <laughs> Or mountain time, and then do uh West Coast time. Hey, yeah, you're gonna be tired. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, right? Like think about it, all that traveling, like just to do four. Someone should make that into a movie. Hey, how do I do four New Year's Eve in one night? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have some. You're gonna have, well, to have a to pocket full of money. Yeah, a lot of money and like. You know, and some the, high-tech aircraft. Yeah, high-tech aircraft, or like maybe they create a bullet train like in Japan in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. Yeah, the bullet train's not going to be fast enough to get you from here to... But, you know, but however the travel method is, right? Let's just say you're on the edge of the East Coast. Let's just say you're on the border between the East Coast and uh, Mountain uh, Central Time. That's possible. I yeah. think uh, certain states like Illinois somewhere... Certain states in Illinois is uh, East Coast time, and certain in another part of Illinois is um, West um, Central time. It's the central, they're central in there. Yeah, the central in the east. Yeah, so like during that time, you know, you go real quick, right? So before that <laughs> two hour that's not, happened. That's not really time travel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't want it like that's one time travel. Hey, how do you celebrate four New Year's Eve in one night? Say, hey, man, I will show you. <laughs> Yeah, your endless day. Oh. It's time travel in one way, not time travel like how you would think. Like you know, I'm going. I mean, that, that is time. Past. That is a form of time travel. It's a form this. of time travel. That's right. Don't ever say that it will happen. All right, let's go back to the Western. Uh, uh, what is it? Back to the future. We were off travel. We still talk about time travel. That's why I love talking about this movie. Okay. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I saw some some video. Some guy made a video. You know, there's this guy who makes a video. It's, what, it's, what it's pretty interesting. But anyhow, he was just talking about Back to the Future one day. He goes, it's funny. They go back to the 1800s. And he, he goes, he, he, has, he, he makes all kinds of awesome inventions in the 1800s. But he can't figure out how to make ethanol to push into DeLorean. So he can drive it because <laughs> it'll be pushed by a train. It had to be pushed by a train. Yeah, but so that's the thing. To, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like he makes a scope. He makes all kinds of other crap, but he can't make ethanol, which is the easiest thing to make. Oh, I didn't know that. That's funny. Yeah, think about it. Ethanol's like making alcohol, whiskey. Ah, yes. Doc Brown should know how to make that easier than anything. I can make it in my house. You know what? Maybe that's why that's the flaw right there, you know? That's the flaw. That's the flaw. I mean, like, because, I mean, like, who would have picked that up back then in 1990? Like they, they they thought of that now in like 2015 or at the time now in 2020, but at the time when that movie came out, nobody thought about that, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Not even the people, people too busy enjoying the movie. Yeah. Yeah. It would be it ruined the movie. Oh, your yeah. video stopped a little. But anyway, anyway, he's goes to 1800s. Yeah. Dark brown. He, oh yeah, he's ZZ Top. In the back, back in the 1800s. Sissy Todd and that fan. The group, Popsy, they must have even brought them forward. They probably used the train. Yeah. Huh. Mad dog. There's a lag, isn't there? Oh, the lag, the lag is gone now. You had, you were lagging a little bit. You were talking oh, okay, about yeah. Well, you I had a bad internet connection. Uh, you had a, you, thought, you were talking about It's weird to say something. I mean, you're just sitting there looking at me like, I wish this guy would say something. <laughs> Exactly. ZZ I forgot about ZZ Top. Don't make movie. faces like that because then I think there's a lag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, ZZ Top was in the movie. Who else? No, that's nobody I else. Know. I think ZZ Top was in the movie. No, I don't remember anybody else in the 
in yeah, the, the West. The, the dirt one was in the, really slow. In the first movie, though, in the first movie, I was pretty sure it was, uh, they had like some, I think, wasn't the director in it? You know, was he, he's on the back of a Jeep. Oh, he yeah, was? I think Robert, it was Robert. Mm-hmm. Zonakis. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. But right. I do know when he's playing that band, remember he plays the band to get in the high school deal? Yeah. And there's a guy with the megaphone, he tells him, he, you're too loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh, Huey Lewis. Was that, that Huey, was Lewis? Huey Lewis? Really? Yeah, Huey Lewis. Oh. <laughs> pretty sure it was. I could be wrong, but I think it was. I'm pretty sure it had to be Huey Lewis. Because another guy stands up and is like, it, I mean, it's like something you don't really need to do. Oh. You know what? Now I'm looking into the Wikipedia thing. It did say in the first movie, Biff was um, a fly supervisor. And yeah, he was. He, yeah, and then when he changed his future, he was suddenly an auto weed detailer. Yeah, he was because remember because he runs into the cow manure. I guess that means he he got all that cow manure out of his car himself. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That was a really good link when he got the car manure by himself. Yeah, maybe that's why. It had to have something to do with it because you know he had that car detailed detail didn't cost him a lot. You know what? I did like Biff's connection to the DeLorean. Because he did say, like, oh, a flying DeLorean? I haven't seen a flying DeLorean in 30 years. I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. Because he saw it in 1985. Yeah, because you remember he, cause he saw it. Yeah, because you remember he saw it in the 80, yeah, in 85. Wait, wait, he walks the out the door to say something to... Yeah, he's like, hey, Marty, Marty yeah. he sees that DeLorean. He sees that car. A flying DeLorean? Yes. I thought that was Which I can't remember, though. He, he didn't see it in the... It didn't show it in the first movie. It shows it in the second movie. Yeah, he showed it in the second movie, yeah. In the uh, right in the beginning, a flying yeah. DeLorean, and I like Doc Brown's glasses, that whatever aluminum thing that over his face. Oh yeah, and that looked like something from Star Trek. As Marty did this, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. But the thing is, I remember when uh, Back to Future Two came out. You know, they had like a deal at Pizza Hut. You go buy, buy a pizza, and they're giving away. I guess each week, get different si- types of futuristic sunglasses. Really. I still have a pair of them. No. Yes, I do. I don't know where I put them, but I had a. They're triangle ones, and they're worn by one that you see them in the movie. They're worn by one of the punk kids. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, but they're giving the sunglasses away. It seemed like they had several different designs. You said Pizza Hut was. Do what? You said Pizza, yeah, it was Hut? Pizza Hut. Yeah, it was Pizza Hut sunglasses. I'm gonna look it up on the internet. Yeah, it had to be Back to Future Two Pizza Hut sunglasses. I can't believe like piece of hot. Oh, which one do you see? Do you see the hot pink? The hot pink. Yeah, black? the hot pink one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the ones I got. Oh, are those the one that wore by Billy Zane? Was Billy Zane in the movie? Billy Zane was in the movie. Yeah, he was. He was in the fifty-five one. You know what? How do we mean, talk about Back to the Future without talk about the refrigerator? The refrigerator. You know, before they decided on the car, they were talking about using the ba- um uh, the refrigerator as a time tra- time machine. Did you not know that? Oh, they also try to use a hot tub too. <laughs> That's a different <laughs> movie. No, I didn't no. know that you tried yeah. to use it. So what happened, I didn't you know, know that. So um, no, Spielberg and Zemeckis uh, had to change uh, the idea, right? Because they were afraid that kids would do would pull that oh. stunt off. They would lock the- themselves in the fridge to go back in time. That's why okay. they changed it. Okay, so Spielberg had a problem with that. Yeah. But in Indiana Jones four, he had he had Harrison Ford get inside a refrigerator, so he didn't get blown up by a nuclear blast. Yeah. Okay, so Spielberg gets is not as wise as he was when he was younger. Hey, you know, <laughs> his movies aren't as good. He just they just had to change it, you know. Hey, you know what? I looked into that too. Indiana Jones. I know we're going off the topic, but. The fourth Sorry. one is also a story by George Lucas. Oh, is it? Yeah, it was an old story. That the stories the is, are drawn by George is, Lucas. I've already seen that story is what ticked me off. I'm like, when, you know, when they're walking around in there, I'm like, I already know it's a spaceship. I've seen it on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> I know what? I can't, you know, the, I, the third Back to the Future is not too memorable for me. The third one's not that memorable. I do like too. the actress that played the But that's why the I say I feel like it. That's why I feel like it was rushed. 
Yo, because they shot it back to back. I love that actress. Who's that? Mary. Yeah, I still some... feel like the, the third one was Mary Steenburgen. Steenburgen, yeah. Yeah, Prince Virgin. She was married to Ted Denson, right? Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. still married to Ted. Yeah, she's still married to him. Which I like Ted Denson, but he she's wasn't a... in Back to the Future, so we're not going to talk about. It. Yeah, she's a beautiful <laughs> woman. Because every time she, I seen her in something, I remember because she played the um, mom for Will Ferrell in Step Brothers. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is still. Look at time still... travel. <laughs> yeah. No, she's a very beautiful lady. Yep. Oh, she was in the proposal. She's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, she's in a lot of stuff at uh, Philadelphia. No, she's really great. Yeah, what's really memorable? No, you know what I really like though? They um they changed the DeLorean to the train. I love that. The yeah. train. I I did because I like trains. I like trains. I mean, I got a Lego train. So. <laughs> No, you didn't like when they changed the time machine to the DeLorean. To the I didn't train. really like. I didn't really like the time machine train. I don't know why I wasn't into that. Why not? It flies and everything. What's the equi- yeah? No, it did everything. And I was he like, felt that in 1880s, right? Like 1885 like, to 1890. And I mean, the dude, the dude no, is he, still shoving coal in a train. To yeah. Travels through the What's future. really crazy is um in the 1890. Uh, well, because he already had two kids by the time he sees Marty, so he travels yeah. to that time where Marty just came back. Instead of like, hey, let me see Marty in a few years. A lot of time has passed by between uh, Marty and Doc Brown in the spirit of one night, right? Yeah. One night to one morning. Because if you think about it, Back to the Future 3, that more incident just happened last night. And they went to the future and the past just in the morning. Yeah, because you got to think, when Marty comes back in the first movie, he's a week older. Yo, see, I knew, I love pointing that out to everyone. Yeah, he's a week, he's older. A week older. Even yeah, though, because you remember Jennifer, because even Jennifer's like, man, you act like you haven't seen me in a week. Yep. He hasn't. Yeah, so he, he hasn't. So he's going to die a little sooner than he was. See, that's why I'm thinking, like, I don't know how how long time passes in the second and third movie for Marty. So by the time oh, no. he get back to the same time, right, he's at least a month older. Like, you know, I don't yeah, know how long it was. That's the crazy he thing was. about time travel. Yeah, he's older. Yeah, he's older by the time he comes back. Yeah, he's a lot older by the time he comes back, you know? So I don't know why I would travel to the past. If I was going to tra- time travel, I'd, I'd travel, travel to, to the, the future. future. Yeah. Because who wants to die when you're young? Yeah, like, it, like uh, supposed let me, to be all young. Let me be my age now when I see myself in 70. You yeah, know? Like, that'd be bad. Stuff. They'd be like, this guy died when he's 20. And they're like, yeah, but we did the autopsy. He's like 40. So let me let's let's talk about like we have about like ten minutes or so left, right? So I want to talk to you about like, would you take advantage? Let's just say all this time travel stuff is, it is possible for you or me to do. Would you have gotten something like that like for the sports almanac, to take advantage financially? Yeah, I would. I you would, would, right? I would take. I would take advantage of it. <laughs> I'd I'd find a way though that I would make sure that nobody could tell. But yeah, nobody would be able to. Let's just say you you played a lottery. If you know they yeah. have historic weapons, no. like, that Come means on. you have to go back to the past, right? How would you the, deliver that to yourself? That's the thing. If I could travel, if I could travel to the past, I'm gonna take advantage. Of it. I'm gonna take advantage of it. Man, I would travel so far back that I could, I would like get all a bunch of my books together. You know how to make stuff and build stuff. I'd go to the past, like 1800s or like the 1700s, and I'd take over the country. <laughs> I mean, come on, I would be the richest man because I'd be like. I would show them rock and roll. I'd show them how well, to build a car, and then I'd okay. sell them all this tech. Well, that's be like if you're able to convince them, right? Then you have to act like you gotta get used to that culture back then first before they thought you were a witch or a warlock, and then they kill yeah, you. Yeah, you're right. But then that's you, what... you know, what's really cool because you mentioned 1800s, 1700s. You also be the only person that know how to read. No, you. I would not. Yeah, I think a lot of people no, read. A lot of people read, right? But like, it's probably well, like for educated. It's, it's... Yeah, but it depends on where you go. But like to say, if I went to the late 1700s, mm-hmm. I'm going to places like Philadelphia, and I'm going to talk to people that I need to talk to, like Thomas oh, yeah. Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you Benjamin talk to the people, Franklin, yeah. But if you go to you like know? a commoner, right, they, they most likely... Yeah, most of those people are not going to be able to read. You're yeah. right. But the people but, you want to talk to be read. Yeah. But those people who can't read, they're going to work for me, and they're going to do what I tell them to do. So uh, when because they've that, never like, seen um, a machine gun before. Oh, I'll, 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 I was going to bring a machine gun up. So that means when you travel, right? You're bringing equipment. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing stuff. Yeah, I'm building stuff. <laughs> and you're there I'm to stay. Find, 
And some people that I mean, like the guy that invents the Gatlin gun, he's gonna work for me because I'll be like, "You're not gonna make the Gatlin gun. I'm gonna show you something even better, dude." <laughs> Bo, you would totally change the future. Oh, I would. Just I mean, because, after you know, after really I take crazy. over America, I'm going yeah. to England. <laughs> So whatever you've done, right, World War One or Two might not even happen. You could create a future without United Nations. Maybe, but you know, but then, you know what's be, really, there's, there's going to be somebody though. wants to kill you. That's yeah, so if someone's going to kill you, right, Dan, you create an alternate future that might even be more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Imagine, like, have, in, I would go that's back the problem. to the We're going to have nuclear weapons. Yeah, we'll have nuclear weapons. Yeah, by the way too war. early, right? Way before, like, 1950 with nuclear weapons. Like, what the hell is this shit? You know, I'm thinking, like, you know, people always talk about, like, going back to the future, right? Or back to the yeah, past. Yeah, a lot of people just want to go back and have more money. Yeah, yeah I mean. to more money, right? That's it, financial gain. And it's so funny, because you ever heard that Louis C.K. joke? When Which he one? talked about, like, um, you know, people always want to talk about, like, you would kill Hitler, right? And, like, yeah, everybody, a lot of people like to say kill Hitler. You know what I would have done? I would go back to the past and rape Hitler. You know, if I wake Hitler, he would probably have done none of this shit. You know, like, hey, if I wake him, right? Hey, hey, hey Hitler, do, do you want to invade Hello. Poland today? No, no, I, I don't feel like it. I just want to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, baby, that's what happened. That's what. See, it, look, that's, that, maybe he created Hitler by raping <laughs> some guy. Yeah, maybe he did. You know, because you know. But then I'm thinking, like, if I go back to the past, like, I killed Thomas Edison. <laughs> and then he would have nothing. <laughs> <sighs> well, you don't think like, so? See, like, a lot of like people like to think that, dark. um... No, see, that's the thing. A lot of people seem to think, like, you know, Tesla would have provided free electricity, right? It was, like, it was Edison and his people that make Tesla look crazy with the media, you know? That's, 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 that's the story that people are telling now, because everybody yeah, wants to be... Everybody wants to be like, oh, yeah, Tesla, this, he's see, that's a super the thing. genius. We never know, like, but then Tesla... what if I go back there and kill Edison? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we wouldn't have nothing. That's what I'm trying to say. We wouldn't yeah, I, have anything. I mean, like, how would you know that, though? Like, how do we know that people, like, these stories are not true? We would never know. Yeah, well, I mean, I think if I had to wait on somebody else like, you know to invent what? everything we had. Tesla was the George McFly in this story. He needs to learn to stand up for himself. <laughs> he's a fucking pushover. Oh, he stood up for himself. Okay. I mean, come on. He's the guy that went up to, a, what, Tesla? He had a box. He stayed in a hotel, and he gave the box to these people, and he told them, "You need to keep. If you open this box, they'll destroy everything." Oh! Which is somebody opened the box. You know what happened? There wasn't anything happened. in the damn box. <laughs> you know what? I, like, yeah, I, I like, like that. Tesla, and Tesla was like a genius. But I like that your opinion. He's not no. as great as everybody's made him to, out to be. You know, I, I okay. So you talk about the financially gain, right? You talk about taking over country and stuff. I, you know, I thought of the uh, a month well, ago. I'm not gonna take over the country. I'm gonna take over the world, dude. No, okay, so take over the world. That's pretty evil. But then I'm thinking about, like, okay, you no, know, a lot of people, not just you, have thoughts yeah. like that. Either uh, gain financially or whatever is always helping themselves. Okay, so you know the weather in Texas here, they can never get it right. Oh, it's not gonna rain tomorrow. Twenty-five percent rain, and then it pours as soon as it's three a.m. Okay, so that's what I hate. So I yeah. told Heather, you know what I'm gonna do if I could create time travel. I'm going to find a team of people, right, that want to go back with the information we have now, but then doesn't want to financially gain for themselves. I, the, the first person I'm going to pick is I'm going to pick a weather guy. So <laughs> my thought is, okay, give all the historical data, okay, from whatever time we send you back to. Let's just say we send you back to 1950. So your job is to from 1950 to 2020, right? All this weather information you have, take it back to the past, create this alternate reality, right? Or alternate timeline. When you get there, right? Everybody's weather will be exactly correct. Like back to the future too. When it was raining, he looked at his watch like, oh, th this rain will stop exactly, you know, like two minutes and like in 20 seconds. And then it stopped. That's the kind of weather reporting yeah. I want. <laughs> how can you, how do you, the problem is though, if that guy goes back, how do you know he's not going to do something else? Look, that's what I'm saying. Like this, that's the like these are the kind of people that's going to be hard to find. You know, everybody want to benefit for themselves. Because I mean, you no, can well, find you can find the the nicest, greatest person. If you send him back in time, he's just going to see that he can actually do what he wants because he knows everything. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, when you say know everything, all of a right? sudden you know everything. Okay, you I can't remember. Everything. I can't remember. You're what Nostradamus. Okay, look, okay. If you go back to the past. 
You don't make me well, come not. You can't say you know everything. Let's just say you do go back to the past, right? And then someone say prove it. What are the lot lottery numbers for this Wednesday? You won't know that. It, unless you were interested in it. Yeah, if that's the thing. Like you, you can't know everything. That's the thing, you though. only know yeah, the things know, that interest it's you. It's gonna know ma- major history things. Yeah, that's it though. But like minor details, it's gonna be tough to figure out. Like when you say world yeah. history things, right? Like they, you know, as soon as you you're gonna go know back, who's gonna be all the presidents. Yes. You, oh, see, that's the so thing. You can, so you can make a bet on that. Oh, see, that's gaining financially. That's like board betting on a sports team. It's, hey, <laughs> hey, it's hey. You got that information. And you gotta have some money in the past. So what you need is like you need to write down all, before you even go back to the past, right? You need a notebook and write down everything from the internet. Like, okay, what can make me money? Like the stocks and stuff. Yeah. Like, like you know how when we talk about when you go back. You well, you know who's going to be the big right? winners. See, like, you know who's the big the company, winners, right? By the companies you see that you buy stuff today. Yeah, with, you go back with the today, stock, you go. Would anything else change? Like, what specifically changed? Is I mean, it come on. things about yourself? You go yourself? back 20 years back, you know you need to buy Apple. Duh. Yeah, see, and uh, Google. When the time exactly. is right. Yeah, Google. So, exactly. You know they're coming. Yeah, so the big winners, they won't change, right? Even if you go back. Because they have nothing exactly. to do with you. Exactly. But anything that you do with you, like... If you change something, I mean, betting on stuff is not going to hurt anything. I mean, I mean, you're taking somebody some money out of somebody's pocket, but who cares? So if you you're go back gonna, to the past, you're not right? make, yeah, you're not going to you're not going to get rid of Google or, or, or Apple or anything. How else. how do you create your identity? Let's just say you go back to 1985. Like, are you going to use the same social security number? You're going to have to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to commit a crime. Yep, I'm sorry. No, you can't go back and use your son unless you already exist. Let's say you can go back if you no, go you back. Can, let's time, just go back to 1985. Okay, you exist. Yeah, you exist. So you already know your social security number. Exactly. So you're just going to be uh, running up bills for your younger you. <laughs> but then you know what? You won't hurt your credit because, like, why would you, right? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's just say oh, you use your own identity. Okay, here's the thing. I couldn't go back in time. Let's say we're going back to 85, right? Mm-hmm. I can't go back, but you can. Because you weren't in the United States until what, 89? 89, yeah. So there. Ooh, but then my social security number won't exist until 1989. No, it will ex- it'll eventually exist. I don't know. You're saying that How no one would check up on you. Yeah, you're right, because they never gave you. Somebody had to check on you. Yeah, someone had to check on you. You like, couldn't. They... You, hey, don't go work a job. Well, I don't have to. I don't have to work a job. Because, like, let's just say in 1985, I already know, like like you say, the big winners, right? Stock, uh, sports teams, I already have the yeah. information. But if they come looking for you for taxes, that's the only problem. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's if that's you the get thing caught, is, though. how are they going to explain how you got there? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to explain? See, that's the thing. Like Everybody seems to think, like, oh, you could just go back to the past so easily and make financial money for yourself. But I think it would be great if you do that for your dad. Like, like, you go back in time, right? You put these money down for your debt. Like, if you happen to have your parents' social security number and open a bank account. Because let's just say you're the age you are now, right? You go back to the age your debt would be at the age you are now. Like, four. Or you could do it to your younger self. Or you could do it to your younger self, too. Just be like, a, say, I'm, uh, a, like you're just somebody that's interested in this person's life. I'm going to be their benefactor. Yep. Put it in their account. Put it in the account for them. Ooh. Put it their name. Put all their stuff on there. Then go back to where you came from. Boom! Your bank account is huge. Yeah. Ooh. If you even go back to your time, are we talking in a way where when you go back in time, you could come back? I think if you even let's say if you even, yeah if you can come back, even but if you, you went to alternate. Two of but you, hey, right? even if you went to alternate reality, wait no, because if you go into alternate reality. There's two of you now. Yeah, there's two of you. That's the thing I want to point out. Yeah, there's two of you now. So we're you have to go back kill, to the original. Yeah, you, you have to kill go back the to other original one? line. Yeah, it, either that or you'll have to, like... If you say, go back to say, the original you back, line, you wouldn't be rich. Your alternate reality of you is the rich Yeah, person. you're right. That money so wouldn't be there. Why would you want, like... Can you even go back to your original time? I don't think you can. Yeah, see, because... See, it's you one timeline with see, an alternate. Wait, see, Lamb, to get all that money... You, you have to go back yourself. in the eighty-five. Give it to yourself, and then go back to your go back to the future on your this new timeline. And kill you will have to kill yourself and, re, and assume your identity. 
Which don't cool. be hard because your DNA matches. Nothing changes. Yeah, your DNA is going to be exactly the same unless you get like a... But you know what's the way it sucks though, Shane? What? Let, uh, 41 right now, right? No, 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 not that. 41 right now, right? I would have to go back in the time where I'm 41 again. You know, I missed like 20 years of having good money. Does that make sense? I'm enjoying yeah. in my 40s instead of like, I feel like I should have done this in when I was 25. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. Rich now, rich later. What does it matter? As yeah, long what does that matter? As long as you got some money. That's it. It's just mostly See, for financial I gain. mean, come on. You can own, you can enjoy a yacht at 41 as good as you could when you're 20. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, you can. What if, yeah, but the problem is, what if your younger self realizes he has all that money and he goes, I'm going to wait for you to come back this day and I'm going to get you. Yeah, but that's that's um, you're you're only thinking like if the younger self already know what happened, you don't know what happened. Like your whole life, you been, you're right. You don't know how. Yeah, you don't know like you, it's what happened. But that would be an interesting movie though. That would yeah, be an interesting he movie though. He figures out like yeah. but he won't figure it out until like one day like there would be two versions of me. You know, <laughs> one's probably more fit because he's rich. <laughs> yeah, because you don't show up at the right time. And you yeah, miss, you show up at the right time. You miss him. And then he right, sees because, you before you see him. Yeah, because also, like, if you travel, you won't even know where you're going. You got to track yourself down. Like, hey, can you see my face? Where did I go? <laughs> like, you're a crazy yeah. person. Well, yeah, because you're not going to know what the, the person in your timeline is going to do now. Yeah, not going to do the money, of, the money has already changed yep. his well, way It was really funny, like, if he, if he died, that would be weird, right? <laughs> yeah, because you got to explain that now. Yeah, like, if my alternate reality, like... I died you have to tell somebody you got kidnapped or something. <laughs> yeah, I got kidnapped. Oh, like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> like Batman they're Begins. Like, they're like, yeah, but we have your body. You go, no, oh, you don't know my body. body. How, how did I die? You got to research yourself first just before you can kill yourself. <laughs> like, what the hell am I? Oh, okay. I'm at the Wisconsin in California. Like, oh, my God. I died when I was 35, jumping from one plane to another. What, is, what kind of dumbass do that? <laughs> <laughs> like man money really changes people don't it <laughs> see that's the thing money does change people like i don't know what the like you know i use i the popular thought is that when you're rich right you're most likely to be an asshole <laughs> you know like if you go back to 1985 i was like five or six right but once you go into money they suddenly you have like millions of dollars right you're gonna be an asshole i mean i don't know that for now like because we grew up poor right i don't have all the money in the world if something i won the, win the lottery right I told Cody I might change her an asshole. I, I don't know, but most likely we're not, you know. But Just then, forgive me if I do, though. Yeah, like yeah. But then I would enjoy the good life. But if I have money since I was eight, I don't know how I would be. It's a different personality. Yeah. Well, your parents are gonna wonder where you got all that money. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like, how, what happened? No, but like you said, the beneficiary, like no, the bank's yeah. not gonna tell you. Yeah, they're not gonna tell you. It's just like suddenly you have money. Oh, this is great. But then the first thing we're thinking, like, is this a scam? But scam from what? Why would you scam you give me millions of dollars or whatever? I'll spend it. I'll be like, well, <laughs> they shouldn't have scammed me because I'm I'm spending your scam money right yeah. now. <laughs> scam it like, well, this is the weirdest thing. Like a reverse yeah. scam. I'd be like, look at this Iron Man suit off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really Iron Man suit. This before 3D printers is printed. You know what? I, the only okay. person... That I would paid a use bunch it for of financial kids. gain. Huh? The, uh, the only person that didn't use it for financial gain was actual Doc Brown himself. He said in the second movie, I didn't uh, create a time machine for financial gain. Yeah. I, I created what... a time machine to travel through time. Yeah. So you are the fifth in this situation. Oh, Not no. just you, Shane. I'm the fifth too. I cannot be... I can't imagine anyone that's not Biff in oh, this situation. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to be George McFly. Oh, oh, you're right. I'm not going to be just like a little pussy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the only reason he changed, because someone time traveled. And that's the beneficent. Well, benefit. you know, the, did you ever watch the... You know, they, they made a Back to the Future cartoon series, right? Yes. Because, you know, in it... I mean, it's a cartoon, so, you know, it's, a car, it's for kids. But the problem is, it took place after the third movie. Oh, it did. It took because the it focused on Marty, uh, Dark Brown, his wife, and his two kids, and they used the train, and they also built him a time machine car again. 
So, I mean, I mean, you can't go like this as Star Wars canon or anything like that. But, I mean, it is a continue. It was a continuation of the story if you were that much into Back to the Future. Really? Yeah. I've never seen So, in that. a way, and, and that's the thing, that game, that Telltale game that yeah. I told you about, it picks up. It's after the third movie. Oh. I think it was after the third movie. It, it was written in a way to tie into the movies. Yeah, so that way it's continuation because people. Yeah, everything was a continuation. On. It's like all the Ghostbuster games. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Ghostbusters. For the, too, yeah. for the original stuff, yeah. Yeah. You know, because even the cartoon. Remember the Ghostbuster cartoon? Yes, I do. The real Ghostbusters because they. Yeah, they the, the real Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, the real Ghostbusters. Which is funny. I'm, I guess apparently they went to the future. Yeah. <laughs> they saw that other Ghostbuster movie and they're like, "Man, eh, we can't stand this. We're gonna go back in the past. We're gonna make. It, we're gonna call it the real Ghostbusters." <laughs> Well, so from what I learned from this uh, from this episode is that if you can time travel, people would definitely do evil. Well, not maybe evil, right? You would. You would take over the world. That's <laughs> not evil. Just... That is not evil. Those poor people need a leader, okay? Oh, okay. So you're, you're doing I'm it for the benefit. Pen- hey, I would bring penicillin with me. I'm going to cure oh, some stuff. Oh, oh, you know what? It's really funny. Bill Gates trying to do people that. People don't get in my way. But I guess it def- depends on the eye of the beholder, right? To some people, you are the evil one. But to some people, you're great. You're like Hollow Escobar. Exactly. I'm, like, Hollow there's Escobar. Gonna be, there's, I'm going to save all the people. I mean, I'm going to do everything for everybody. You know what's really funny? You would have to do a lot of homework before you go back in time. Hey, <laughs> like, I know. I, I'm a history nerd, so I'll be all right. Plus, I'm like, changing it, history. Vaccine, Plus, I'm changing history, bad. so what does it matter? Like, it could be really dangerous on how you create your new alternate reality. No, nah, I'm not worried about it. As long as I'm, I, I'm gonna have a lot of bodyguards. You should. You make sure you take care of me in the past too, okay? So I, I can live. At, well, not me personally. The other lamb lives in a better future. I'm sorry. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people get killed too. So damn. Look, it's, gosh. Yeah, you know I what? Mean, You're right. You won't be able to figure it out. Like, like yeah, because I mean, have you... how many people know about their 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 history and? In... The 1700s. You won't. And I'll also say, since you're going to be in the 1700s, once you're there, you won't live, like, depends on what 1700, like, if 1701, you're not going to make it to 1800s, right? It well, just... I'm going to time jump. I'm oh, keeping gonna... the time machine, Wow, dude. man, you just... I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have, like, a house that people can't see me, and I'm telling them, like, like, in months at a time, I may not be around, so if somebody else is going to have to run the country or the planet, and I'm going to jump, because... <laughs> So so I ain't dying there. Running. I'm not dying in seventeen hundreds. I'm gonna I'm just tell them that I'm my son that they never saw. Well, that's the thing. If you time jump, like things have might have changed a lot. It depends on how much time you jump, you know? No, but I gotta have somebody guard my like time machine and stuff and not go inside <laughs> their room. That way I can go like and come back out like a year later. Man, you have not had this plan rolled out yet. <laughs> oh, I got this planned out way well, dude. <laughs> I have you said you need down. someone to uh, protect you. Like, how do you? I have a, how do you I have to a trust safe. the person? I have a because I gotta know who they are. It's okay. So I time jump. I would time jump with weapons and more bodyguards. Oh my gosh! That way, when we come out, we have to kill us people that guarded my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I pull people from any time I want. 